Well, 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 good morning, Amber Squad. What's going on? What's happening? It's the hype. It's the hype. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be good. Dude, I, did anyone wonder if Metzen was the one who voiced Thrall in that cinematic? I don't know if they ever confirmed that shit. Or not. You can hear it. Okay. I don't think they had a couple of other people do his voice, too. I think we finished here yesterday, right? Where do you usually go after a valley? I guess you go to Karasang, huh? Go to the Karasan Wilds. Karasarang. How do you say it? <laughs> I used to say the Karasarang Wilds. <laughs> it's the Karasarang Wilds, bro. Bro, you guys ever make coffee so dark and, and so Bastello that when you add creamer to it, there's no creamer or like the color of the coffee doesn't change. <laughs> Cause that that's my coffee this morning. I decided to make some some percolated Bustello this morning, bro, and I was like, okay, this ought to be good. I mean, I'm just saying, bro, it's like I put a good amount of that creamer in there too, dude, and I was just like, well, I don't see it. Okay, this is gonna get interesting. Um, dude, I was able to dragon ride at level 10. Did you just take your dragon riding mount out and try to do it? That's what I did. I mean, it takes the quests, the quests take you to a dragon riding NPC, but I, I was able to do it way before that. How do you do this little chi guy, dude? Feels kind of like weird to use. I hate coffee. I do not. These mobs getting beefy as fuck right now, bro. Holy shit. Are you guys supposed to have an item? Monday and Tuesday, they were within tests. Uh, don't know, but there's any tests going on. I just know I'm not going to be here. Damn, that was like one drop, dude. Fuck. What are you doing Monday and Tuesday? You know, just taking some time off. Relaxing, chilling. Hope you win big. Where? Heard Holly is going to London. Oh, yeah? Well, you know, I'm not going to fucking London, bro. You know me, I don't fucking fly, dude, unless you get me high as shit.
Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just take some time off to get ready for the week, bro. It's a big week. Just boat to London. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what I'll do. Take a nice little cruise ship. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to the casino, that's for sure. I will be going to the casino the week afterward, though. The week of uh, Season 4 launch. Doing anything, I'm just walking around as a fucking bird. Yeah, I was reading MMO Champion this morning, some some amazing information going on over there. Guys, like streamers have been secretly playing the alpha for the last five weeks, and I'm like, what the fuck? I wish. Yeah, I wonder what's going on in London now, huh? Yo, who else be going to London, dude? Like the whole WoW team? I mean, Warbands is a, and the Hero Talents and the Delves are the three, I would say, main things of the expansion. I mean, the story too, right? I mean, we're, we're supposed to be getting back into Metzen era of storytelling or, you know, story direction. So people are hoping that that, that kind of takes off. All right. All right, all right, all right. I mean, Delves are just like scenarios, except with a companion, and they're going to be harder. They're going to be like mythic five to seven kind of hard, which is... In you know the changes in a couple in, like in like nine days when the season four comes out is that they condensed all the dungeons right so a five is like a fifteen a seven is like a seventeen so ideally whenever War Within comes out we start doing delves you know they'll be up to the difficulty of like a fifteen to seventeen key at their strongest. It's just extra content, and you can also use that content to get, like, track gear from the uh, vault as well. Yeah, didn't they? Didn't they? What the fuck? Didn't they take out the um, PvP out of the vault? I think, right? I replaced it with the delve shit. Forgot, forgot what they did at BlizzCon, what they said about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say they're like visions for sure. But I think like every season you're going to have like a different character like help you and shit. So I think like they said, like in the beginning of the expansion, at some point, especially you got like you got like Brett and Bronzebeard as like your companion. It, I, I don't even think it's like scenarios. It's more like um, what was that shit we had in MOP actually during Throne of Thunder? You know, where you go into the, you start looking for all the treasures and the rooms and shit, and if you finish it faster, you get, like, better rewards or whatever. Or the further in you go, the better it is. I forgot what those were called. 
Whatever the fuck that was called. I think Delves are like that. But obviously in like a new environment. Is that solo content where mobs don't drop dead on your site? True. Yeah, I think it'll still be pretty cool and challenging. I mean, I personally think delves are meant just for like people who want to do solo dungeons at like a higher difficulty. It's just solo content. You know, I'm pretty sure they they easily re oh, okay. Everyone in here is elite. I think they easily recognize that like not everyone loves to do raids and then not everyone loves to do fucking dungeons with other people so they're like all right here's a way to do it just by yourself you know that's it you have a little companion that helps you out probably gives you buffs i'm pretty sure that you can you can make your companion like tank heal or dps more than likely and then war bands are just you know war bands i guess i don't know i feel i feel like war bands to me is still kind of weird because it's supposed to be like this new or the start of the age of account wide shit. But I mean, it's not it's only going to be account wide for like the current expansion renowned stuff. And then they're going to slowly like retroactively start making everything else account bound. So I don't know. Oh, for sure. You get the cute little thing where you get to like pick all your characters on the main screen and see which ones to show. Like a little little group. Ooh, that coffee's strong. Kinda like Lost Ark. You know, Lost Ark when you log into Lost Ark, you see like all your you see like your characters sitting around a campfire or whatever. It'll be the same thing. I think the first thing that that they asked them was like, yeah, we're gonna get like different backgrounds and shit for our login screen. I'll tell you one thing, man. Fucking World of Warcraft has definitely turned into more of like a uh, well, I, I, the, the shiny aspect of WoW has definitely risen over the last like six, seven years. Okay, I guess this doesn't uh, work. I mean, it's working, but I guess it's not like showing. Whatever, it's all good. Yeah, man, like mount collecting, pet collecting, transmog collecting. Like, that's just a, such a insane part of the game. And it's, I mean, it's more insane now because there's just so much more of it, you know? I mean, I think that's a big reason why they create all these, like, events like this is, you know, to you know, obviously draw people back. But at the same time, you know, people will fucking hunt down rewards like crazy. But it definitely feels like in the last couple of years, it's just, you know, that that crowd has definitely risen up more. And you can see it too, right? Like if you look at, you know, the rating scene, for instance, like mythic rating, like how how down it's been in the past like couple of expansions in terms of like participation and stuff. So I mean, th the less there are people doing one percenter shit, that means the other ninety nine got to be doing something, right? And they got millions of subs, so it's like they're just out there just playing the game, bro. But with the time they got collecting and shit, you know, it's fucking nuts. Okay, I got points to spend. Oop, oop. Let's wait. Oh, yeah. Boop, boop. And then... Where do we want to go here? Oh, yeah. Boop. I thought we had the War Bank collection. There's simply too much transmog rewards in Legion. Yeah, I think the expansion is, all, is supposed to make everything, like... Like, like you, you can collect any transmog now in War Within, right? With of any armor type, with any character. Which, holy shit, that's probably the best thing ever. Now you don't have to feel bad about, like, getting, like, a really cool piece of transmog that you're like, oh, shit, my hunter would have loved this shit. Now, now it's gonna just happen. And once we start, you know, getting into the alpha stages, we'll make sure all that shit works. That's why we're there in the alpha, right? To tests and shit like that I, I every single fucking alpha phase i always see those mongrels on mo champion talk about like oh why do why is it that streamers get access first they don't even they, they don't even test the game man. it's just for pr publicity herper derp derp i'm like bro 
Do you have 10 hours a day to play this game? Yeah, now? <laughs> Do I can't find a single game? Oh, I think I'm done. Am I done? I need one more tiger. I, I mean, and someone else, uh, I think it was like a post I read last night. And some guy was like, look, bro. What, what do you mean streamers don't test it? Streamers are literally streaming in front of thousands of people every day. And if they don't catch a bug, someone else will catch it for them. And they get to play obscene amount of hours that you can't play. Of course, they're better testers than we are. <laughs> I always hated that. So I hate it when people always had that argument like, oh, we're better testers than this person. Or like, I'm no, I'm no better a tester than someone, some of you guys in chat. But I mean, you know, like, according to most WoW players who, you know, want their time respected, I don't think they have, you know, 10, 11 hours a day, 8 hours a day to, to play WoW. If you do, that's great. Send a letter to Blizzard. Let them know. You know, maybe maybe they'll hook you up. Like, Blizzard, bro, I could play, like, for 10 hours today. Hook me up with the alphas. But yeah, I mean, shit, man. If something happens in the game and you guys see it, you know, you just tell me. And I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll report that shit. Of course. Why wouldn't I? They're creating just new ways to keep us spinning the hamster so they don't have to create new original content. No, nope, they're just doing some fun shit. The the regular it's not like there's two hundred devs working on MOP remix, bro. Like they're they're working on the next expansions already. Next two expansions, actually. But yeah, are they doing this to keep you subbed? Sure. I mean Yeah. That's their job. Keep you playing. Yeah, it's not smart business. It's just that's what any company would do. You now they got like five months to release an expansion. They got to keep you occupied in that time. Would you rather wait 11 months with no content at all? Wow, oh, that's 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 what I keep telling people. I'm like, would you rather just go back to the old days of just, hey, you know what? We have like a nine, ten month drought, and we just got nothing to do. There's no new gear chase. There's no new item level chase. There's no little mini games. There's no in between stuff. You know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, and people are like, oh, well, they could just make content in that time. I'm like, that's not how it works, bro. Like, they can't just whip up. You know, they're, they're, they're on a schedule, right? And they're following that schedule and they're following the roadmap. All you got to do is, you know, look at the roadmap. White tiger watch over you. People, people have some myth, like we're going to secretly get some new content. And people keep going copium for that. What the fuck? Okay. But AI will help them get content faster. Well, I'm not sure how they use AI. Man, I'm sorry, my UI. Come on. My UI. Come on. Intact skitter glands. Oh, yeah. There's like another cat around here you gotta kill, right? Uh, 
Um, I doubt you're going to get a preview of whatever was missing. I mean, if, I mean, Alpha inevitably is next week. So it's just kind of like, okay. Usually, I mean, I guess they can because they make their posts on Tuesdays, right? But I think that's that's what's coming up in WoW kind of situation. I don't know. Maybe, probably not. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see, Let's see the raid finder. I want to, do, I want to do terrace again. I, I, I think throw of thunder is all fucked up, so it's hard to fear, right? I think terrace is good because it's four easy bosses. Uh, skitter glands. Oh, these little bastards. Yeah, dude, it's, it's, it's not like the fucking 10 people that worked on MOP Remix or maybe like the five people that people that worked on Plunderstorm could have made you a brand new raid for season four, you know? I think people need to realize that like the decisions that WoW makes about their shit are, are done a long time ago. It's not like it's not like Blizzard magically said that during like 10.1, oh, we're not going to have a 10.3. Bro, they knew since, the, since Shadowlands that there wasn't going to be a 10.3 when we were in 9.3. Or 9.4 or whatever it was. Like, they, they already knew. Like, that was already established. It's not like one of their 200 devs was, uh, you know, working on some new magical raid that we don't, we will now never see. Just like the decisions about Midnight are already made and decided. Hundred percent, yeah, hundred and one percent. Let's fucking go. My cloak stats are pretty okay, I guess, for being level fifty six. I see people with a higher percentage. That's why I said in my Twitter post yesterday. I'm like, I think there's a definitely a discrepancy between like the RNG of the cloak. Some people are are like hundred and ninety percent at level like forty, you know. And I'm just like, how is that fucking possible? I'm doing the same amount of content you're doing, completing all the quests, queuing up for. It is queuing up for that. It's kind of fucking weird. What do you need? Damn, it's like fifteen K per. Yeah, I'm fucking crazy with the leveling. The light protect you. What do you need? Goodbye. White Tiger watch over you. So does that have this many quests to turn in completed? Where's that all at? <laughs> yeah, it's over here. Uh a few, not all. Oh yeah, this might be like 60k worth. You looking at me? Lord. Yeah, some people's shit was just fucking slow, dude. Let's get some jammers going. Lots of gear. Uh, let's see. 65 belt. We good. 102. Ooh, new shoulders. Ooh, triple. Triple tinker shoulders. There we fucking go. We already have triple of the, uh, of this. So uh, this is all, this is all garbaggio, but the shoulders are lit. It's, it's kind of crazy. Like this is so, it, it's so many fucking like abilities. 
It's like, now I got to figure out, all right, what, what, what am I going to put in here now? Like, what do I got? What, what, what do I got going? What, what else could do some damage? Uh, no, that's dark pack. I know what that does. We could put this one. The party members within 40 yards, but I don't have any party members, so. Uh, victory fire. Probably victory fire for questing. Yeah, dude, there's like so many. Like my whole entire, my whole entire fucking inventory is just full of it. I'm trying to figure out how is someone even supposed to get the 324 percent on the cloak. Oh shit! Just waiting for three healers to queue up. Guess we'll be here for a while. <laughs> We're gonna be here for a bit, just a bit. Oh shit. Almost fucking died in my fucking What the fuck was that? Oh that that was it. That was Slay. That was Slay that did that. Okay. Cool. That was the Slay ability. Oh, you get it from leveling multiple tunes, okay. Am I bigger? Are you charging? So I just got to kill one guy and focus on him. And then everything else should just explode. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's happening. That's what's happening. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's gnarly, dude. That That's amazing for dungeons, I bet. That's amazing for fucking dungeons. Yeah, I got about almost 20k. I mean, getting regular mounts don't really matter much. Uh, I think, you know, but if you want to get, like, the big daddy mounts, those are probably going to be a little bit tougher, right? Because... You know, obviously. You know, 38.5k for one rare world mount. But, you know, those are people who need it. It's only going to suck for people who want those world boss mounts, but also want a lot of transmog. You know? The Water of Youth. Yeah, LFR right now is really good EXP. Personally, I don't, I don't think it's legit. Like, I, I don't think you'll be able to spam LFR on launch because I, I don't think they want people just spamming LFR over and over again. They'll probably add, like, a limit or something to it. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. He's supposed to... Oh, okay. There we go. Ah, I queued me up as a healer. Lol. People are smart. They would farm most of the transmogs now besides the new ones and just buy what they need. Yeah. Agreed. That's, I mean, that's what people have been doing, I think. The smart ones, at least. Yeah, they're just making they're just, they're just creating massive amounts of power, pretty much, with like passive abilities that you can gem and socket to like tinker and cause real slots. Whipped cream, what's going on, man? I ain't complaining. I think it's fun.
the butt. I'm over here trying to heal, bro. Go out them war of glories. Uh, told you, man. That oh, yeah, I, oh, I have the brittle. I have the brittle too. I forgot about that. I'm just pressing buttons. Pressing buttons, I'm healing. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. What sucks for me is that, like, you know, I don't really need any of the Pandaria transmogs that I see so far because I, I, already, I already have, like, 90% of them. I'm, I'm missing, like, a couple of little LFR pieces here and there. Definitely want some of the new mounts, though. And some transmogs for my other classes that I didn't get to acquire. Kiting like a boss. Let's go. Let's go over here. Over here. Over here. You going to London to test Alpha? No. Why would I go to London to play Alpha? I could play right here in my house, bro. Whenever it launches. Why would I go to London? Holy shit! assuming you're going to London I guess here's the thing and I'll, and I'll tell you how it works with with Blizzard and content creators North American creators have North American community influencer managers European creators have European influencer managers so sometimes people in Europe might be doing something different than people in NA so that's why sometimes you'll see like an event going on maybe somewhere in Germany or Europe where it's mostly you know, I don't know, it could be people that are EU streamers. And then something in NA could be happening and it'll be just happening here without EU streamers. That's just the way it works. Who's doing six million healing? Ward of Salvation, damn. Yeah, it could be a TwitchCon thing. I think TwitchCon's in EU, so who knows? 
could be an event for another game. I mean, there's a couple of games coming out this week. I mean, no rest for the wicked. We have a, we have a stream, I think, on Thursday or Friday for that. A bunch of streamers doing sponsored stuff for that game. I have been freed. Hmm, that's weird. I'm not getting any chests from killing the bosses. Oh, wait. Here we go. Wait, the first boss didn't give me one, though. Right? I thought, I thought usually every boss gives you a little, little chest thingy. It mean, is a chest piece. That's an upgrade. Uh, uh, that is an old piece. And this is a new piece. Sweet. Savior. Healing an ally beneath 30% health will grant them a shield that's worth 50% of the amount healed. Damn. I didn't even do anything, and I got like 11th on damage on that. That brittle. It's that brittle. NDAs for WWE have already gone out, confirmed by TNE. What's WWI? <laughs> Is that? I'm here thinking it's TWW. Everyone's like, but what's WWI? World War One. My man said. They that the NDAs have already gone out. Just so you know, NDAs would go out a lot earlier than recent. Like, I've been under NDA for like two years, dude. Might be the WoW 2 reveal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Sorry. WoW 3 Pog. Bro, with all the different versions of WoW, I don't even know which one we're on anymore, bro. I think we're like on WoW 4.0, maybe 3.0, Blizz is watching these stats to see how many people are enjoying the simplicity of the gear and how easy the boss encounters are. Yeah, of course. I don't think, I mean, this is not supposed to be hard content. No, no, no one, their goal is not to make you struggle on like 10 player heroic in, in a limited time event. If they have to nerf shit to the ground, they will just for fun. What damage is this guy doing? Exploding keg doing 53% of his damage. What the fuck? That must be a good combination with some other piece of, of gear or something. Oh, my cloak is still at 101. Unfortunate. It's unfortunate, y'all. Are you ready to roll or what?
This is gonna be like world quest difficulty. Yeah. Like I said, as as it as it should be, bro. Yeah, anyone who looks at this content and says, oh, this should be hard is like fucking crazy. This is like a six week to two month collector's dream, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's all it, that's all it's meant to be. And a good way to just level characters and like move them to the main realms too. I mean, for anyone that's trying to level some certain tunes for their war bands and shit for like War Within, I'm pretty sure like after the, after MOP remix is over, it'll 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 make sense. And to have fun. Sadly, I already have 25 level 70 also. Do I really need more? Probably not. In that case, this might not have, uh, you know, this might not even interest you. Unless you want, like, transmogs and shit and mounts. Pretty sure they're aware that not everyone's going to play this mode, you know? Give me that loot. Dude, how many? What did I get? Like two levels in here? Shit, dog. What did I get? Oh, there's Door of Shadows. Love me some Door of Shadows. Oop, another. We could try that one out. That one looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Okay. I think this, like, gem you know, I forgot to add that as, like, a... As a fucking suggestion is like when you use the gem remover it should remove all your gems feels like it's easier to add than to delete you know correct yes so i'll be putting that in my in my new boots and then in my chesticles well hold on, let me see i can make some more gems i think yeah we're gonna add Oh, hold on. And my critty gems. Because I like the crits. Uh, start adding all this shit in here. Brittle. Wildfire. Meteor. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. And all this is old gear. We're going to disenchant that. Let's move our little blink over here. Let's see. Door of Shadows. Should be the same as regular. Let me see. Yeah. yeah. Door of Shadows. That's all it is, baby. That's all it is. Well, I haven't tested removing an item with a gem on it. I kind of don't want to do that. I mean, I could push some shitty gems in there and test it, I guess, before I'm done today. Excuse me. Yeah, two minutes CD kind of sucks. I wasn't really using Blink that much either, honestly. I'm a tank. Who the fuck am I blinking away from? Besides a, a warband scout dude. Yeah, I'm pretty positive this won't be the last remix we'll do. For sure. sure. There'll be tons of other remixes they'll do because of the success of this one. Yo, 
deleted. Deleted and depleted. This would be too hard to know. Well, I said, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's going to be a success. Let's just be real here. I mean, just, like, you may not have liked Plunderstorm, but Plunderstorm was a success. Maybe next time they won't, you know, surprise release it on people, but. Add vehicles to Plunderstorm. My man over here wants that shit to be real, real. What quest? The rat from the... Oh, I'm going to kill one more Enforcer. Where was that at? That's weird. It's like not even on my map anymore. Demo full date. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Well, I think what's what's going to be just known as being successful is the idea that people like, you know, different little fun things they can do while they wait for an expansion. And as long as that stays intact, then we're going to get more of this in the future for sure. I think we're still getting one more pretty soon. At least according to Holly. I don't know what the fuck that one is. I guess that could be could be the uh, little vampire survival thing people keep hyping up. They learned that when releasing this patch event, actually, because they gave us the info early. Yeah. Plunderstorm had a lot of negativity around it because it was, I mean, like, if we're talking about FOMO, then Plunderstorm is pretty much, like, for real, for real FOMO. Like, oh, God, no cap FOMO. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, that, that was just like, hey, you know, obviously creators, we knew about it for a while. But, you know, we couldn't tell you. But, you know, for a lot of other people, like for, the, for the other millions of players, they're like, oh, thanks. You just kind of announced this today. But, I mean, you know, like how many how many weeks has it been since Plunderstorm now? Like three? And you probably still got like another couple of weeks to go. I don't know. I feel like with the increase in plunder and the way, you know, all you got to do is look at the video to figure out how to get like really good amounts of plunder quick. And you, you'll get the 40 like in a couple of sessions. At this rate, you, you, you could do like two matches a day for like a week or two you, you might get close well there's no over one well, there's no events overlapping this this event's not going to overlap with plunderstorm plunderstorm is going to be over way before remix comes out yeah they're basically going from one time limited event to the other The remix come out the twenty third. Nah, dude, that's season four. Greetings, traveler. This is ten two seven, dude. Yeah, re re remix probably. I don't think it's June. I think it's gonna be like probably, maybe May. Probably May. Could be June. Could be June. I'm not sure if they care. See, like, people keep saying, oh, well, what if this comes out before, you know, Cataclysm launched? That'd be kind of weird. I'm like, well, not really, because this really, this really isn't MOP Classic. So, you know, you shouldn't really be thinking that way, but people will think that way. So I can see why people think that way. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so you already say, isn't Kata in May? Yeah, but like, Kata has nothing to do with this event, though. Like, 
it's not like we're being spoiled, right? Like, this isn't like, um, you know, sometimes we get like an announcement at BlizzCon for an expansion before one expansion is even over, and everyone's like, oh, we're going to get spoiled. Like, you're not really getting spoiled if like, MOP event comes out and then two weeks later Cata launches. You're not gonna be you're not gonna be confused if you're a regular WoW player. If you're a brand new infant WoW player, then maybe, but those are not that many nowadays. In terms of life conflicting releases. Well, no, like I said, one's gonna be out weeks before or after the other. Ideally after. Yeah, I think according to the roadmap, I'd have to actually put the roadmaps together. Shit. Can I get I need a screenshot of both roadmaps real quick? That's the only way I could do it. I got I got I gotta take both roadmaps, save it, and fucking really? This isn't a goddamn image? Fuck fuck off. Let me look at it though. I guess if we blow it up and then look at it, uh, where well, where's ten two seven here? So according to this, yes. Uh, if, I, if I'm looking at this correctly, oh wait, no, I'm all the way over here. So wait. So is this wrong or right? So they're they're off course with the roadmap on Kata, I think. Is there a new Kata roadmap that I missed? Cause this has Kata launching uh, like June, right? Because beginning of summer is like June, June twenty something. That is old. Oh, is it old? Uh, do, do we have the new one? Well, this is correct. No, I know when cat. Does anyone have a link to the new cattle one though? Yeah, let me see if I can find the new the new cata. Like a recent one. I don't even see a recent one. Oh, wait, hold on. No, that's not recent at all. Oh, wait. Let me see. Nope. Fuck. Well, so far, the roadmaps have been 100% accurate. They have not been off at all in any way, shape, or form. So, ideally, this would be, like, right here. That doesn't make any sense either because we shouldn't be getting 1027. Oh no, you're right, yeah. So I guess we would get 10 we would get pandemonium after Cata launch. Right? That's what I'm reading. Regardless, a lot of shit to do. The fuck? Oh, I'm level 60. <laughs> I was like, what's going on right now? She's just getting obliterated. Oh, wait, isn't it now when the EXP goes, like, down to shitter, returning in quests? Because of the chromie time bug or whatever? I think. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe they, maybe they fixed it. I don't know. Let me complete one quest and see how bad it is. Somebody you get time runners idle. Hell yeah, I do. Look at that fucking trinket. That's nice. Triple tinker trinket. I would use that trinket for all my healing shit. Uh, I don't know. On that roadmap, it looked like the Cataclysm launch was right at the start of summer, not before, right? You're, you're, you're thinking pre-patch. Pre-patch is April 30th. I 
What do I know the Dells will give? Uh, basically, whatever Mythic 5 to 7 would give. Which, once again, is 15, 17. I just have to say that because a lot of people don't really follow the news and they don't realize that when Season 4 starts for Dragonflight in a few weeks, that Mythic, Mythic 1 through 10 is basically now squished into Mythic 0. And Mythic 1 through 10 is now literally Mythic 11 through 20. So... Find any rings yet? No, I don't think you get any until later. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure de Delves scale in difficulty. That's why they say that it, it, it can be as hard as like a high level or, you know, mythic track almost key. Let me see. Oh, yeah. 2,000 EXP instead of fucking 12,000, bro. It's fucking crazy. And that's with 108. Well, guess we're queuing, boys. Guess we're queuing. We'll, we'll, we'll queue for a, a, a few of them. Oh, shit. We can queue for uh, Siege of Orgrimmar. I wonder if anyone's doing these. At all. Technically, this would be the easiest one to do. I'm not sure if they work, but I'm going to queue for them. Fuck it. Correct. Yes, we've known that for a week now. That May 20th is the Cata launch. Yep. Yeah, the spell procs feel nice because they're all passive and you kind of don't have to give a shit about figuring out what to do. You know? Like, I have literally, what, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have, I have 11 passive spells just popping off as I'm playing. Like, I don't even think you need weak auras for this shit. Just, like, attack, and then everything just gets obliterated. What else uh, should we need to do Mythic Zero on Season 4? I don't know. Pretty easy. Should be like maybe like 460 plus or something like that. Maybe 440, 430. I don't know. I know the gear there gives you what? 483 gear. So you're getting basically current mythic rating gear from doing a zero. But don't forget, you know, there's no affixes. There's no timer. It's literally just mythic zero, but it's still rate. It's still weekly locked out, which sucks. So you can still only do each dungeon once per week. And then you have to do regular mythic dungeons. Which would be like 11, 12, 13, 14. I still, I mean, I still think it's bad, personally, that there is no choice for a player to want to spam one through tens anymore. I think, it, I, I think that's going to be the downside is that people are going to be like, oh, well, I just did all eight dungeons, all mythic zero, and I only got two pieces of gear. Now, what do I do? But I don't want to do 11s. I don't want to do 12s. That's not my shit. I want to do like, you know, I want to spam 3s and 4s and 5s like I used to with my friends. And now you can't. So now you got to do like, I guess, heroic dungeons. Because heroic dungeons give you a little bit better. These like heroic raids in Pandaland to be puggable? 100%. Yeah, the Mega Dungeon too as well. Why can't you? Because it doesn't exist, right? Mythic 1 through 10 doesn't exist as the original Mythic 1 through 10. Mythic 1 through 10 is Mythic 11 through 20. Meteor Chip. Oh, that's to launch me in the air. That's a pretty cool one. Oh, Explosive Barrage. Your abilities have a chance to launch a barrage of fire at enemies. Each missile inflicts uh, fire damage and knocks enemies up. I dig it. But it's still going to be better, right? Yeah, but what I'm saying is that some players like to spam threes and fours and fives. Your week is basically over early if you have no, if you don't want to do those higher keys past uh, one, which is now an 11 again. That's my shield shit. 
Yeah, I kind of want to. I mean, I don't know, maybe we can replace Meteor Storm for now. Just like to try this one out. Isn't a 15 like a 25? Correct. People can spam one to threes like they did one to fives. Right, but one to threes and one to fives don't exist anymore. They're all condensed into Mythic Zero, which is on a weekly lockout. A current one to three is an 11 to a 13. A current four to five is a 14 to a 15. So how can a player go and now do one to threes, like a plus three or plus four? You can't, right? It doesn't exist because of how they squished the dungeons in season four. It just goes off as a plethora of fireballs. Good. Maybe it procs more than stinky ass fucking, what is it called? Uh, Meteor. Meteor doesn't do anything, bro. Let's see. Yeah, well, Q for the first year of each one. No reason to not do one to threes when you can do eight mythic zeros that drop better gear. So people just don't want to, bro. What can I say? I don't know. Are you sure? I'm 100% positive. You can't have two versions of one through three exist, right? They can only exist once. One through three is is what would be considered now an 11 to a 13, right? Like, I'm, I'm just telling you what, how it is. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. The casual player base will speak if they need to, and when they speak, Blizzard will react. Plain and simple. I'm just saying, I think the weekly lockout on Mythic Zeros is pretty terrible. I deny your facts and I'm replacing them on my own. I don't, am I sure? I mean, I'm positive. That's how they explained it. If you look, if you look at their graph. I mean, I'm just saying RNG is bad. And if you're on a weekly lockout for Mythic Zeros and you get no loot, then that was a fucking terrible week. Now, you're, now your item level is still low. And the only way to upgrade it is to either crafting or running heroic dungeons and then trying to do 11s through 20s, which are now 1s through 10s. That's the best way to farm coins just to play the game, man. I really don't think there is a way to farm them, personally. I don't know. Maybe? I, I really haven't found... I, I've just been doing quests and raids. I mean, there's a world in which you can find a, a place where you can farm mobs that hyperspawn, and you just loot all day. Yeah, it could be the Timeless Isles. Could be something. I don't know. So are lower keys less ammo than Mythic Zero? No, because they're higher keys. Frogs in the Thomas Isle? Maybe. That's a possibility. Yo, wait, uh, wait, which queue did we end up getting? Wait, did we just end up getting the Garrosh raid? I, I missed which one popped up. Oh, no, we got fucking... Mojan Vault. The ancient vaults of the Mogu, untouched by time for thousands of years. Who knows what secrets await? Many young Pandaren warriors have vanished into this tomb. Have your wits about you. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was awesome, dude. Undertuned. It's LFR, dude. Dude, I did. My brittle did 1.1 million damage. Oh, that was funny. Remove from existence. Mm. 
You should have the new Destiny into the light. Great way to get into caught up. I mean, I'm pretty caught up on Destiny 2. I'm only missing, like, the... I think the last thing I did was that little card game with the weird green-eyed chick. I was, I, I was doing those weeklies before I stopped playing that weekend. I guess that's like the witch, whatever. You know, you know how like I, there was a point where like I ran out of content to do and I had to wait for like the next week for like the, for the next story daily to be available or whatever. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not far off if I need to catch up before final shape. I still got my Final Shape Collector's Edition boxed up. I haven't even opened it yet. Got that shit in the mail like last week. Actually, two weeks ago now. Charmy, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. At least our powers make clearing trash very fucking easy. Once I get Divine Toll, that'll probably make a lot of fucking AoE trigger on big trash packs. Yeah, right now, the only way to level the 70 is just spamming LFRs. That's pretty much it. You get about, you get about almost maybe like 70%, 60% of a level per LFR you do. This one seems to be the fastest. Personally, I think Terrace is better. Because you get a full level in Terrace every time you do Terrace. It's about 37 EXP. And my cloak's at 108%. Destroyed each time only to rise again. I go, I'm going with just questing. Right now, 60 until the experience goes down because of uh, you know, bugs with chromie time. Oh, shit. I'm fucking dead. Okay. <laughs> I'm dead. And I still did fourth damage there. Yo, we got a battle res or what? No, no B res. Damn. People, people ain't got that shit key bomb, bro. Yeah, I mean, with all the stuff going on, fucking Alpha, you know, Season 4, I, I don't have any time for that D2 shit. Uh, I'll just be playing when the final shape comes out, I'm pretty sure. Time to play. This is prime WoW streamer time happening in the next couple of weeks, so you know what I'm saying? Lots of videos and lots of stuff. But sounds fun. Wave shit. Silent, thank you for the sub. This guy was six fucking forever. Come on, man. Land. What the fuck? This 
guy's getting fucking obliterated, dude. Holy shit. Oh, he's going into a frenzy. Nothing a little death strike can't fix from the fucking death knight. Sometimes you're lucky you get an increase in the XP. I did on that one. I'm only getting, how much percent was that? No, that was seven. That was seven. I think that was seven. Well, I don't even know anymore. Let's see. I'm queued for Terrace, but I'm not queued for Shot of Pride. And Oh, yeah, I am. I am queued for Shot of Pride and Mercius. Yeah, some people are just spamming Mogu. I kind of want to, I kind of want to see SOO. Might just stay queued for that. You know what I want to try? I want to try. Okay, I want to keep brittle for sure. I want to try putting in all the healing stuff and seeing how that goes as a like as a healer. You know, just just for like fun, just put in all the healing ones instead. Wait, that that just delete my other ones. <clears throat> Ooh, leech. Does, does it actually delete them? Well, that's a mistake. They got to they gotta fix that. Oh, well. It's the last day. Who gives a shit? Yeah, you got to strike manually. Oh, well. Ain't that a shame. Let's see, where else can I have room? Keep quick strike. Let's get rid of lightning rod. I think I had one more healing one I can use. Yeah, actually, let's use a leech one. This one should be pretty good, too. It's like an insane amount of fucking leech. Fervor. While you are above 80% health, your attacks consume 2% of your maximum health. So if like holy damage equal to the amount consumed. Oh, that's that's the one. That's the fucking one, bro. That's what I've been waiting for. I just saw that one demon hunter had like fucking top damage because of that goddamn shit. That is the one. Oh, new legs, Lieutenant Diane. New legs, Lieutenant Diane. There we go. What do the purple gems turn into when you like? Let's say you get three of the purple gems. What 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 does that do? I think that then it starts uh, combining, right? It does like. Like speed plus armor, I think, or something like that. This is all garbage gear. We can DE this. Like a legendary gem. I'm not even sure what kind of healing I'm going to do, but it's going to be weird. You can always, you can always go to a vendor and spend bronze to get any to get any gems or any passives you don't already own. I'm not even sure how many there are total. Probably probably a good amount.
Oh, wait, that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> that tally brittle though. That tally brittle though. I fear what we may find within. Precipice of madness. Shroud your party members within forty yards for void, granting them shield absorbing damage for ten seconds and reducing their health to one. Damage taken from this effect is added to the absorb. But you're telling me that I can Make everyone's health in the raid go down to one? Because that's scary. You should use that in raid. You know what? I just I just might. <laughs> just just for fun. See how the fuck that goes. Let's let's see how that goes. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> we, we about to find out, son. We're about to find out. Let's see. Oh, no, no, no one's health got to one at all. People died instantly. Oh, did they? Sacrifices were made. It said everyone in, in your raid. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> this boss has like so much fucking health. Holy shit. This person wants a B res. Where did I put my B res anyway? Oh, it's on a CD. It seems like only two people died and only I didn't even see people's health go below go below like 100% except for those two that got wrecked. We'll try it again on the next fight. Let's we'll see what happens. Hey, man, we're testing, you know, we're testing shit. I'm make sure we test stuff. I mean, uh, dang, how do you say it to Blizzard? Hey, Blizzard tried this uh, item out that's supposed to make everyone go to 1% health. I was expecting 25 people to die and only two died. Please fix. I need to see 25 dead bodies on my screen. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, Soul Shape. Oh, Soul Shape is... That's got to be goaded. This sounds a bit off anyone else. I would just restart your stream. Or restart your, uh, your shit. Day 
Here's the thing, though. Even though they were at 1% health, they should have gotten a shield, according to the... Uh, according to the thing, right? So, like, I don't know. Something wrong happened there. Let's see. Everyone around here seems to be in 40 yards of me. Forty yards ish. Oh god, it actually did kill somebody. Oh dear god. Yep. Okay. That's fucked up. I'm gonna I'm gonna res at least this first guy that I killed by mistake. Oh yeah, this is this is actually fucking bad. Best gem ever, bro. That gem is fucking troll. I'll be reporting that gem probably after today's stream. <laughs> Listen, I don't think I know what you've done with this gem, bro. Oh dear God. <laughs> That's actually fucked up. That's actually fucked up. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye. Bye, everybody. See you later. That gem is what WoW needs more of. Stop it. What do you mean is what WoW needs more of? Yes, WoW needs more gems to troll people. This game needs more toxicity. That's exactly what we need. Let's see. There you go. I feel like I'm playing Plunderstorm. I feel, yeah, I feel like Soul Shape is probably the best one. I'm going to leave all queues. I want to see if anyone's queuing directly for Siege. I'm not sure what level you need to beat it to queue up for Siege, but we'll see. Could be a pretty long queue, so buckle in. Is it a new expansion? It is a new game mode. Remix is fun as fuck. Spent the last uh, two days getting the 70. Best fun I've had in the game for a long time. Yeah, it's a short, sweet event. Not really meant to be tedious at all. Best is like gear on Wowhead for Phase 3 of Season Discovery. Are players receiving less loot in Season 3, Phase 3? I feel like, I feel like we are. Maybe that's not the case. It's five or more items up from two and set piece tokens on every boss. You'll gear up fast and there's a lot of other sources of gear to tide you over until you get the things from the raid. Yeah, that's if the regular pugs out there can even complete the raid. You know? No, our 10-man raid group wasn't able to scale to 20, so we have to pug it for uh, some of our roster, and thus main spec over off spec rolls. I've yet to receive loot on two lockouts, which was some 13 to 14 boss kills, which is conceivably 25% of the lockouts already if we stick to an eight-week phase. Uh, dude, if, if Season 3 is only eight weeks, it's actually fucking bad. Like, that would be, like, the worst phase if it was only an eight-week phase. There's a bunch of garbage you. Have you spotted these fun details in Plunderstorm? Some guy is shark surfing. That's interesting. <laughs> this is what the news has come down to before Alpha is just here. Are some things you might have missed during you know in the in the starting area of Plunderstorm. I mean, the lore people love this shit. The little shark wearing a hat. My cat Booster is in Plunderstorm in the lobby. Please pet and kiss him. Who? Oh, 
Ah, some people are queuing up for it. That's, that's good. That's good. Bradwell, 1414. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, if you if you don't want to ruin the experience, don't level the 70 on the PTR. I mean, you just watch streamers and be like, oh, how much bronze do you have? Like, I just got 20,000 bronze at 61, right? So that buys me, like, uh, four full transmog sets or maybe three mounts. Which is, to be fair, not a lot. That's what I'm saying. I think they should, you know, increase the... Um, they should increase that shit, you know? I know Blizzard doesn't like the word increase, but I feel like it needs to be done. Like, increased loot for players? That's ridiculous. I'm at 30k at 70 with two sets bought. Yeah, two sets out of how many though that exist, right? I think there's over isn't there over like like 40, 50 sets or something crazy like that? You're getting loot? Yeah, you get greens and shit. Yeah, every time you complete a quest, you get a chest. That chest always either has loot or it has currency or it has a bunch of shit. Yeah, I mean, I want to get some transmogs for like my Death Knight set, Warrior set bear set i mean there's no way i'm gonna play even for me as a streamer there's no way i can play enough to get everything that i want to get so i'm for me my decision is all right do i want to increase my mount collection or transmog collection i always like to increase mounts first no matter what so i'll just be looting every possible mount that i can you know pretty much Well, I think before this even launches, they're going to increase it since this is all, you know, testable shit. That's why, that's why we're testing it, right? So we can give them the feedback and if the feedback is definitely going to be increase the bronze rewards. Then they're going to increase the bronze rewards. I mean, I say 100% is good enough, in my opinion. 100% would guarantee that by the time you're 70, you can at least get one of the rare Pandaria big mounts if that's your prerogative. You know? Like this guy has, like, the dungeon apparel if you want the dungeon apparel. And these aren't that expensive, but still, 2500 each. This guy has this this set that I want real bad, but for this, complete the landfall achievement with a time runner of any class. What's landfall achievement? May you find so some are locked behind achievements, it looks like. I'll trust you for now. I think this is is what is this raid finder? No, this is just potions and shit. Heroic and mythic raid. Who has the mounts? World? No, that's world apparel. That's like the world quest looking shit. There was definitely a mount, dude. Oh, rare collections. No, that's not it either. But I do want... Uh, see, like, I want this fucking 50k bronze toy. Summon and control Jerry the Snail. But, I mean, that that's going to take a while to farm. Is now like an option? They're all an option. Dude, wh where's the fucking mount vendor? Like real talk. Seek the truth. This is the item upgrade guy. Dungeon, rare, world. That's class. Hey, honey. Good, good. Oh, here we go. I found it. Yeah, so see, here's like the 38.5k mounts. Like, you know. Astral Cloud Serpent. Well, that was only 18. 
Already known, 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 already known. Uh, let's see. So these are the ones I don't own. So these these would be like brand new for me. So let's say I want to go with. I just I would just start from the beginning, right? So I want that. Two, three, four. Five, six, so just just by hitting 61 I had enough bronze and doing all the quests in the first two zones that gave me about what nine nine mounts and that's a nine mounts at 2200 apiece they actually increase in price afterwards so I think I can farm all the mounts personally Plus the you know plus the ones that you get for um, just like doing achievements and shit. What about the Phoenix Mount? I don't know wh wh which one is that one. The the golden one? I thought that was linked to something like an achievement or some shit. I don't think that one's here. I would have seen it. Yeah, that one's not listed here. Phoenix Mount is level 20. No, you're, you're thinking about the... I'm talking about, like, that's the Phoenix Mount. I'm talking about the Golden Dragon. You know the Golden Dragon everyone's going fucking crazy over? Damn. This queue is brutal today with the... I just want to do Siege of Oregon more, bro. Yeah, the golden Elegon mount. Yeah, where do, where do you get that one? You have to get two reps of Exalted or a few other major endgame achievements. Yeah. That's not that hard, though. Like, the, the you get extremely accelerated. Like, I did, like, six quests for the, the Cloud Serpent reputation, and I'm already halfway to, like, Revered. No, there's no challenge modes in Remix. Nope. None at all. It's from the Veil achievement, but uh, looks of it. What's do you know the name of the achievement? Ooh, wow. Excuse me, sorry. Come on, healers and DPS. If you're sixty, queue up for S O O. Yeah, they they made a blue post specifically saying there's no challenge mode gear sets. Since that's something that you can't really get anymore, they didn't want to include it. I mean, they, they included the world bosses for Pandaria because you can still farm those, and they already increased the drop rate of those boss mounts since, what, like, the beginning of the expansion? So you got to do looking for group veil, complete the following group activities. So it looks like dungeons and raid finder. Or an exalted with the golden lotus defeat three of their enemies in veil so you need okay so it looks like you need exalted with the august celestials golden lotus and you got to do like four dungeons in an lfr and kill three rares and you'll get that mount not that bad but you know still still trying to get exalted is going to be pretty pretty hard for uh for those two factions If you can't get the CM sets, why have include the CM Phoenix? Is that the same exact CM Phoenix? I don't know. I never did it myself, so I, I wouldn't know. Or is it like a recolor? You're talking about... Uh, what's, what's the name of it? Just look for Phoenix, I guess. I spell Phoenix. This one right here. Uh, anyone got a screenshot of the original one? Uh, 
Look at you. That's cute. You're over, you're over here trusting that Blizzard would actually choose good colors for a CM set. This one just looks better overall. Honestly. This one's just a badass looking mount. Man, I don't know why they included the CM mount, but not the mogs. I think as people cherish the mogs more than they cherish the mounts. Personally, I don't see anyone ever flying around in a fucking CM mount. I, but I do see tons of people always rocking their, their CM mogs. I mean, especially if I look at the Paladin, right? The Paladin CM one. Like, I can't imagine getting a recolor of that and not getting the golden one with the red. That's fucking awesome. Were we supposed to get some alpha news last week? No? I don't think anyone said that. But I'm not going to be here tomorrow and Tuesday, so I'll be back on Wednesday. So, just so you guys know, no streams for the next couple days. Burlock 07 with the 143. Thank you, dude. He knows you know. You know. Are you going to the UK? Absolutely not. I'm not a, I'm not a European streamer. It's off a Wednesday. I mean, Alpha's inevitable next week for sure. You know why? Because there's a roadmap that you should look at. It's the roadmap. Why don't you just look at the roadmap? It tells you everything. The roadmap. Roadmap me. <laughs> what do you want to say in UK? Because I think there's a couple of content creators going to London for whatever reasons they're going there. Ted's going away to record early alpha content. Man, when's the last time I recorded anything? I said she's in London to talk to the press and creators. Yeah, that sounds, sounds pretty good. Once again, European creators and North American creators get different people with different stuff and different like events whenever shit like that goes down. So yeah, so I mean, if you're like me or you're like Max or you're like anyone or Slute even who doesn't play WoW but still gets obviously WoW contact stuff, like I don't know, we we don't know what they do over there. You know? But if you were too impatient, right? Yeah, just just be around all the streams next week. Except for Monday and Tuesday, because you won't need to watch anyone. Because I don't, I don't even know. Classic streamers will be will be around probably, you know. This will completely quit WoW? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure he'll check out the expansion. Watching streams to get into Alpha. Oh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I always tell people, I hope you're not thinking we got, like, you know, Alpha keys or something. That's just not, that's never been, even been a thing, ever. Although, usually in any given Alpha, there's more non-content creators than creators. But, you know, because we stream a lot of it, people always seem to think that we're the, there, there's more of us than you. It's just, That's never the case. You know? You know something, Tally, tell us. I mean, I think everyone knows a little bit of everything.
I think Panda still has Draenor keys, from what I hear. He's been telling us for the last month. People just don't listen, you know? People just don't pay attention. All right, fine. I guess I'll fucking queue for, like, the other ones. God damn it. It's going to end up being Mogushan every single fucking time anyway. Yeah, if you definitely want to play The War Within before launch, you could either pre-order the Epic Edition or, I mean, like I said, I'm not even sure if they're going to do beta key giveaways this year at all. Maybe the major websites might do it. I doubt we'll do it. Because like I said, they're going to have so many people in the beta because of the pre-orders that they might not even need to give out keys. I mean, Alpha Access is, you know, that's just mainly friends and family and creators, and then they'll, you know, they'll do waves for sure. But sometimes those waves are really targeted. You know, especially like when raid testing begins, you know, they'll start inviting like, I don't know, like the top 100 guilds in the world and all their raiders and all the rank one PVPers and all the gladiators. Like anyone with like that sweaty with theory crafting, like theory crafters get invited, add on authors get invited. You know. But yeah, ideally, we are the first to play it before anybody else. Yeah. That's just the way it's always been. But yeah, it's not like watching any streams in the next couple of weeks of streamers watching Alpha are going to get you Alpha. We don't have any... There's actually, there's actually never been a thing as an alpha key. An alpha key has never been generated in WoW. It's always just been invite only. But yeah, like, there will be regular players that just get, you know, thrown in there. I don't know how they do it, though. Like, I don't know what the algorithm is for. It could just be completely random. It could be how active you are in WoW. I know since Shadowlands, they've started, like, really... Um, only inviting people into alpha or beta that are severely active in regular WoW. Because you get the most out of your, um, you, you, you get the most out of your, your, you know, your player base for people that play a lot. Ooh. Excuse me. No invite for Asma. No, I'm pretty sure he gets auto invited. I mean, he's on the list, right? When you're on a list, you're on a list. Doesn't even matter whether you play a lot or not. I mean, people like Tim the Tapman will get in. People like you know that that don't really play as much WoW anymore, but kind of played a little bit. But they're you know just famous. So like someone like Doctor Disrespect probably gets access to fucking Alpha, bro. He doesn't even know it, nor does he care, right? Like, yeah. I mean, you want to get people fucking hyped up. How do we not fucking kill him? Someone is not running brittle, bro. Someone is not running that fucking brittle. There we go. That was close. He goes, that was close. 122% experience gain, though. Well, at least the EXP part's going up. Which means eventually, if it gets high enough, I might be getting just like a, you know, a fucking level every two bosses. Is there a lot of communication between creators and Blizzard before it comes or even like a few days before? Of course. We're always communicating with Blizzard. That's why they make you sign away your lives. There's official communication, then there's the type of communication where you just know shit because you know people. We call those friendies. NDAs are documents. Friend DAs are don't say shit or you're shunned forever. You know? Hell yeah. 
Italian knows everything all the time. I know enough. You have to form this group? No, this is an LFR. You just queue up. Like retail. But yeah, I mean, this is, you know, unless you're waiting in a one hour queue, this is the best EXP per hour. And if you're a DPS, you can just queue as a tank. And if you're a tank, you can just queue as a healer. And if you're a healer, you can just queue as a DPS. Or right? If I was anyone doing this, I would just queue all three if you can, if you're allowed to. After this raid is over, I gotta go poo poo. This Postello is eating through my fucking veins. Boom, boom, boom. 40%. Probably good the Bustello sweats. Yeah, it's like getting the meat sweats, bro, on a shitter, let me tell you. Oh? That sucks. Well, actually killed me. Damn. Some hefty 36k fireballs. Holy shit. That is actually fucking crazy. Mill 2279, appreciate it. I was hoping it's literally a countdown to Alpha, but that's a few hours too early. What is? Wait, why would... Yeah, there's, there's no countdown for Alpha. Alpha's the most, like, unpredictable shit ever. They could tell us that it comes out like on a Friday. It might not come out till Monday. They could tell us it comes out on a Wednesday. It might not be around till Thursday night. Right? It's always the servers, and the servers are always absolutely never stable at first. That's why anytime you know there's a possibility of an alpha launching on any given of three days, you'll just see us streaming all the time because we're just fucking waiting. How's the bronze rate? Um, I think it's slow. Other people think it's okay. I think it should be increased for sure. The cloak should buff bronze drop rate. It could. It would have to be capped, though. Wouldn't be no fucking 324%, that's for sure. No, Kelty, they already told us this is how it's going to be. This is LFR, man. LFR is this easy, right? In every version of WoW. We're just doing an older version of WoW where the LFRs are easier because the bosses only really had like three abilities versus like today's LFR where bosses have like 20 abilities still, but it's still LFR. Even back then, no one wiped on LFR, Mr. Pandaria, you know, like that, that just did not happen. I think dailies are up in like 10 minutes. Frost armor. Uh, your abilities have a chance to grant frost armor, absorbing damage for one minute. Attacks made against frost armor, splinter fragments of ice, inflicting frost damage to the attacker. Nice. That one I have not seen yet. Ooh, shit. You one-hander. Where we fucking go? And you bracers. 
Oh, new ability. Cold Front. Your abilities have a chance to grant all allies a shield absorbing damage and applying numbing cold to all enemies. Reduces their movement speed and reduces their damage dealt by 10%. Boring. Boring. All right, we're right back. Oh, my phone.
Irony. Back. Yeah, level 50, you get 7% per stack. I'm at 122. Not a lot. Did any of the Qs pop? Damn. Still trying to get into fucking... <laughs> Still trying to get into SOO, bro. Good shit, sure. Oh, the dailies. What do you want? Do not share what I have said. Complete a scenario, and then I get the raid one done since we're doing it for a raid. What's your cloak at? 122? Uh, 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 in the zone, wow. Thank you for the sub, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you. Six modes. This guy definitely fell off. Shit stream, to be honest. This guy doesn't even say my name, dude. Doesn't even say my name, bro. This guy, the disrespect. What? I don't know. Miranda. I have no idea. What just says playing the PTR? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. It says 14 hours, 55 minutes. Not bad, though. 14 hours, 20 plus K bronze. They need to increase it. They for sure got to increase it. Whether or not the expansions of the World Soul Saga will be shorter than what we are used to. Nope, should be the same exact patch cadence as Dragonflight. Should be three seasons with two patches in between each season. So, total of two, four, six. Eight. Eight? Yeah, eight patches, not counting um, the faded season at the end. So, that'll be like another three patches. So, nine, almost ten total. It's a lot. Think it'll buff experience again? What do you mean? I think it'll buff the experience of this. They should. To be fair, I mean, right now, even on retail, leveling from 60 to 70 is like a literal fucking joke. I'm not even sure how you can make it faster. Like, for the cloak upgrade? Yeah, they should buff it for sure. All they gotta, all they gotta do for the cloak is just buff the amount of percentage you get at certain level intervals. Like, if at level 50, you're getting 7% per thread, you should get like 12. Plus, the amount of RNG, the upgrade, it should be less than it is right now. Yeah, the RNG is probably the worst part. Faster by paying 60 bucks. Really? I don't know. Six hours versus 60 bucks? I go with the fucking six hours. Just do time walking, bro. That's all you gotta do. Just go time walking and just fucking spam dungeons. Six hours later, you'll be max level. You'll be on your way. It's kind of like a weird logic that Blizzard must be using, right? It's like, but like the whole boosting thing. I guess their logic might be, well, if you do have a lot of time to play WoW and you're always home, then yeah, level from 60 to 70 in like six or seven hours and give us your 1499, right? I'm sure that you can afford to just spend the time to hit max level in, in a mere amount of hours, the fastest of any expansion ever. And then the, the on the opposite spectrum is, uh, well, you're a you know you're a dad with 19 kids 16 wives uh 50 million grandkids and 16 jobs you only have uh you know maybe two hours a week to play wow but you have a job odds are you might you, with your job money you might want to spend 60 bucks to boost yourself and get it over with so it's almost like they kind of have it figured out in a way you know I wish I had 16 girlfriends. I need some Mormons that got close. Let me tell you, growing up. I mean, I, I think that's, oddly enough, I think that's why their demographic is mostly the age group of like 25 to like 60, 
working individuals who have jobs and steady income that can afford fourteen ninety nine a month, and obviously millions have proven they've been paying it. And odds are they probably pay for other shit too, like pets, mounts on the store, boosts, new expansions, epic editions, right? I don't know. I think it'd be harder if this game was catered towards, like, you know, fucking Roblox players and shit or something. I buy, like, four to five WoW tokens a month. Oh, yeah, the WoW tokens are so goaded. I'm kind of waiting until, like, Alpha and Beta come out for the War Within so that I can buy tokens. I'm pretty sure the token price is going to spike pretty hard. Yeah, like I said, right now, 60 to 70 is broken. It's not that this is the way it's going to be when it launches. This is just it's the weekend and they're not working right now on PTR shit. So they would have they would have fixed it by now. If this is a weekday. But yeah, ideally, 60 to 70 should be just questable. Right now, it's not because Chromie time starts to kick in at 60. So it's, it fucking descales all the experience that it shouldn't be doing that too. Ugh. Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, I know, it's, it, it, when you think about it, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good way of making money. You're a company if you if you know your demographic is a uh, is the is the average working man and woman. It's all about that twenty year dedication, yo. Oh shit. Oh shit, Yankees won both games yesterday. Hell yeah, baby. Let's fucking go. Dude, Fervor is broken. I'm not even using full DPS. I just started putting on healing. Why is everyone else's healing so crazy? Oh, because of a Kindle and Cold Front. My best heal is Vindication. The remakes of 6070 leveling is being affected by the live chromie time, so it's less accelerated. Correct. That's why I'm here waiting just for a queue to pop up for LFR. Any LFR, really. I don't even care. I think right now Veil might pop, depending on three. It's always healers. We're just always waiting for healers. But I don't know why people aren't just queuing up as everything, because no one really takes damage. So it's kind of weird. Like if there's that many DPS and tanks queuing, every tank and DPS should also be queuing up as a healer if you have if you're a class that can heal. You can't switch specs, unfortunately, true. Yeah, once they adjust the bronze and once they, they, they fix around or fuck around with the cloak, which they will, I'm assuming, based on people's feedback currently, I, I think by the time this launches, it's going to be pretty easy to level up a shit ton of characters and get a shit ton of bronze. I mean, like I said, just imagine, you know, it's kind of like any other version of, wow, you're going to have like one character like this, you know, as your driving force of getting your initial bronze and getting your cloak as high as possible. And then once that cloak starts to get to other player, or other characters, then... I mean, I'm assuming you're going to end up fucking getting like, I mean, 300, 300%. That's a lot, man. That's like, you might even get just a couple of levels from turning in your first like two quests or so. Hopefully this comes out next month. I'm almost positive it will. Maybe. I don't know. It can come out at any time after the 23rd, according to the roadmap. But then again, if you look at the roadmap, you know, Blizzard had Plunderstorm as a separate part of 1026 before 1026, which is next week. Whereas this one is not actually listed as a separate thing on the roadmap. It's just 1027. 
So that, I guess, leads me to believe that this should launch alongside 1027, which would be obviously, I mean, uh, it's got to be after. Uh, yeah, it might, it might be June, like June 18th, I think. That's if, if you count eight weeks from the 23rd, what is that? That's June 18th, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that's ideally when this would release based on, you know, their normal patch cadence. Unless it's the end of the expansion and they're just fucking doing whatever they want. Who knows? Is Puzzle Star when season four starts? Well, no, because this is ten two seven. Season four is ten two six. I mean, season four starts in a week. I don't want to wait eight weeks for this. You got tons of shit to do. Diablo season four, Diablo season three, season four. Does eight weeks apply to then who's given it's outside the normal 0. 0.5, 0. 0.7? Yeah, I don't know. That's what I don't know. I have no clue. I'm just going to assume they're following. They're still following the eight week cycle. That's just I'm, just, I'm just assuming that shit. I really don't fucking know. I'm just reading it as it is on the roadmap. The roadmap says pandemonium time running along with 1027. So it would just feel weird if like season four came out and then literally like uh, according to you. So someone said in chat two and a half, three weeks later, we get 1027. That's like never happened. The ancient vaults of the Mogu, untouched by time for thousands of years. Who knows what? Fucking lag, 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 lag. Someone did 9 million fucking damage. Holy shit, what was that for him? Oh, that, was, that was his brittle. Yeah, dude, all these passives going off are probably, like, destroying people's computers with the spell ID shit, dude. Like, 100%. <laughs> like, I can't see how it's not... You know? Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, I think I'm in combat. Motherfuckers. Are those raid wings still bugged? Raid wings? Oh, well, I mean, a week or two after Kata is technically you know, is, is June. Yeah, like I said, uh, people keep following, like, the timeline of WoW. Because Mist is not classic, and this is just a remix version as part of retail, it doesn't matter whether it comes out before or after Kata launch. Kata's classic. This is technically, this is all still retail. I don't know. I know on LFR the bosses drop like 70 bronze. It's not really much at all. Uh, I think the remix ends tonight at 10 o'clock according to the, uh, the in-game map. Map calendar thing. Sorry. Calendar.
Man, I don't have an ability where I use my wings and it does nature damage. Bro, oh, brewmasters are fucking popping healing and damage meters right now. That's fucking insane. Look at that shit. I wonder how his exploding keg smash is going off so much. I wonder if it's because of the um, the ability that reduces like cooldowns by 100%. I think if multiple people have that, they'll do it. What's that? Oh, Spirit Walker's Grace. And I also got a shield. A new shield. Wow, it's been a while since I got a shield, I guess. Holy fuck. That has been a minute. It has been a minute. Or it could be already be like a higher scale. I think the sending of your main to your character is not really that big of a deal. I think people were only able to send like one heirloom neck piece or something, you know? Explosions! Explosions! Correct, yes. MOP Classic would be like, you know, MOP talent structure, design structure, PvP and everything. It's like nothing like this. This is just retail. There's nothing classic about this MOP except for the nostalgic thoughts you have while we're playing it. But yes, today's the last time that you will have a chance to play Remix until it launches officially. Which, to be fair, I mean, I don't even know why people would want to do I mean, people would probably want to do this to see if they like it, obviously, but I think you could just watch any streamer and be like, all right, this is my jam, this is not my jam. Dude, it's pretty easy to burn out from something like this. The questing is a good vibe, though. Rep Paladin with Word of Salvation. Holy shit. Look at that damage he's doing, dude. Did give me anything? 129%. I got one thread out of that. Got one thread. Here's our daily raid. I think this reward needs to be increased too. It's only like 200 bronze. That should be more like 500 per, per day from doing that event. Incendiary Terror. Your abilities have a chance to inflict additional fire damage and horrify your enemy for three seconds. Interesting. It's not bad. Uh, let's see. These are all upgrades. Big upgrades, too. The healing ones are pretty garbage. I'm going to go back to putting my DPS ones in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we kept Quick Strike. We kept Fervor. Uh, where's in Kindle? Fuck, where'd I put those? Uh... Looks like she'd look at a uh, Kindle. Then, uh, what's the one called? Onslaught? I don't even think I have that one yet. Which is unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like slaying the enemy to cause the eruption is a good one. Uh, lightning rod. And what was that other one? Is it grounding? No. That's class resource. Might just be flourish, honestly. 
Can't find that third one. Should, should, should be like some sort of like arcane looking one. Uh, Slay? No. Oh yeah, Storm Overload. That's the one. Okay, got it. We. Am I still in the queue for the other dungeons? I am still in the queue. Oh wait, that's not right. Scrap it. We don't know if season four is launching on the 23rd, which is 10-3. So 10 to 7 is going to launch very soon. Uh, no, the 23rd is 10 to 6 still. I think you have your patches very, very mixed up. You got it all messed up. Yeah, there, there, there is no ten three. Any tips for classic wrath? Play on the popular servers. Are you playing on Mancrick or what's what's the other server that's really popular for wrath? Was it White Main or something? People are confusing Last Faded where it was its own patch. Yeah, exactly. Like 10 to 6, this expansion came in two parts. It was Plunderstorm and then the season. Whereas 10 to 7 is just going to be 10 to 7. That will be like whatever the story mode is for you know, the, the, the first kind of like story steps towards the War Within pre patch plus this event. Oh, Pagel? Yeah. Yeah, it, it would be weird if a 10-2-7 event took place on 10-2-6, you know? I mean, it, it just tells you right here, right? Like, this was Plunderstorm, but it wasn't actually listed under Season 4 because it was a separate event, whereas Time Running Pandemonium is not listed separately here in between 4 and 2-7. It's just part of all of this. So at the same time, we should get this event plus the Harbinger Quest plus the Heritage Armor plus whatever new holiday event they're doing. So this is its own date. I'm assuming mid-spring, whatever mid-spring would be. I don't know when that is. I mean, we're kind of in like mid-spring now-ish, really. Yeah, yeah, technically speaking, 1026 has not happened yet. But it has, but it hasn't. Because season four hasn't happened, which is the real 1026. We got the Plunderstorm 1026. I'm not sure why they, they just didn't make Plunderstorm version like, I don't know, 1025.5 or some shit. I don't know. This honestly could have been all avoided if Plunderstorm was just 10.26 and Season 4 was just 10.3. I, I would be pretty upset if Cata Classic came out at the same time as MOP Remix. I, would, I, I ain't gonna lie. I would be a little upset. So I don't. Th I mean, I don't think they're going to do it. They they so far have not overlapped any major updates yet. This entire expansion. So hopefully it stays that way.
Either way, excited. Either way, y'all got a lot of shit to do. You know? E either way, y'all's is good. Oh, you know I should... Can I queue for a dungeon, too? Or can I not queue for a dungeon? Damn, it says you get 150 EXP. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, dude. That is actually crazy. Uh, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm fucking extremely full from last night's dinner. My experience bar is part of my weak aura set. Well, it's like those is weak auras, but you can get the code from the weak aura command. How come nobody, how come everyone always wasted the last second to fucking queue in? Just queue the fuck in. Holy shit, man. Holy shit, man. Untouched by time for thousands of years. Who knows what secrets await? Many young Pandaran warriors have vanished into this. Ah, shit, I fucked up on that. Uh, not 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 enough brittles, not enough brittles in this raid group. Disappointed. We needed more brittles. Needed more brittles and more fervor. There you go. There you go. Ooh, ward of salvation. I've seen people with that as their top damage. What does that do? Restore health to an ally and grant them ward. When ward expires, it explodes, inflicting holy damage equal to the remaining absorbed to all enemies within 40 yards. Huh. Is a cooldown on that? Three minutes? Or is it just, just activate it? Let's see if I can get out of combat and find out. That's a knight. Get rid of this gem bomb in combat? Nope, cannot do that. Let me see. Oh yeah, it is a three minute CD. Look at that word of salvation doing 48% of my damage. What the fuck is that about, dude? That's crazy. I gotta, I gotta read that shit again and see how it works. Because I feel like it's either broken or not working properly. Dude, it doesn't feel like it's a toggle. That's for damn sure. It's funny how it's like the same people that, that I've been seeing every LFR. I understand why we, we just don't requeue together over and over again as like this one cohesive group. Fucking weird. Honestly, I don't even see, like, the Kata pre-patch event being that popular in Wrath. I don't know. Unless there's something going on. Maybe, like, the world events are pretty cool. I don't know.
Damn. Dude, and my heal and I was second overall in healing. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, Ward, Ward of Salvation was 28% of my damage at the start. And then Vindication and Ward was also all my healing. Crazy. Crazy. All the healers busy abusing DPS scaling. Bro, there, there was a few LFRs, was it yesterday, where like the fucking Resto Shamans and Resto players were fucking the top DPS, dude. I was like, this is fucking insane right now. Like. Yeah, maybe by uh, 2030, the year 2030, we might have, like, you know, Remix being the weekly cycle of shit instead of uh, time walking. You know, like, you get, like, one week of just doing this shit. But you get to use your cloak every single time a new one comes out. So you just level the max, like, in a day. They could do some pretty fun shit with this if they continue it, like, yearly. Time to play the game. Legion Remix cannot wait. I mean, they started with MOP Remix, which is cool. I mean, they could have started with like TBC or fucking Wrath and they did MOP, which means that they could do whichever ones they, you know, whichever ones they want. Someone used the fucking shit that killed people. That's funny, man. The fuck are people dying to? People out here trolling, bro. They trolling. Keep trolling, 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 trolling. What? Keep trolling, 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 trolling. Gonna get the shot mount finally. Yeah, I know. You can actually target it now as a mount instead of having to farm it. I'm sure, for a lot of players, the shot farm is gonna be over. Ding. Ding it. Ooh, 143%. Shit, I must have gone up like twice this raid. It's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. What a shame. Alright, now I'm gonna put in my points. Uh let's go with that. Let's see the other crusader. And over here we can uh what can we uh put some points to other places where it matters. Honestly, I have tier where the extra damage could be pretty sweet. For those first few bosses. All right, this is gonna be a little weird. All right, so divine toll is always gonna go here. Uh, what's my G set to? I should why That's weird. There we go. And we go again. We go again. What I get? Uh, it's explosive barrage. That's one I already had. Ooh, dungeon's ready. 
I think dungeon is going to be pretty good for this. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, you can do... Oh, this fucking dungeon, bro. Fuck off. Yeah, you can do... Um, do you seek my counsel? LFR, SO, but I, I tried to queue for it earlier, but no one no one queued for it. Oh, fuck, bro. Whoa. Huzzah. Yeah, now, now, now we're experiencing the full power of fucking of people's abilities in a dungeon. Even though know, the fucking the abilities still fucking hurt, though, dude. Real talk, like. No, no timeline yet. Together we build. Just kill one so they all explode. Yeah, big damage. Go, 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 go. Do they usually keep the storyline with the PTR? Uh, no, this is actually one of the first times, maybe second time now, they've they've gotten the, the story has been encrypted on a PTR. Which is good. I hope they keep it that way. my initiates first. Shit, who's not going to love the the, the, the the chance to use, like, what? I think at the end of the day, you get, like, 20 abilities you get to use at, all at the same time. I don't know how they're going to fix the lag for that. The, my 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 fear is the max level lag that's going to happen. Now you will face two of my most senior. Flying snow. Fragrant lotus. Step forward. That should not even drop any loot. As my master once said, you cannot truly know someone until you fight them. Come forward so that we may be properly introduced. Yeah, the point of this whole thing is never to struggle. Like there's there's no difficulty involved in anything in this entire event. Nor 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 should there be. This should be just like Everyone blow everything the fuck up. Crazy abilities, shit popping off, meters going nuts. 
hundred percent. Like the heroic ra heroic raids should be easily puggable. Hopefully they will be. If people can just like slam through them once they're because you figure like we were trying to do like a normal mode Mogushan vaults right at like level twenty five with like maybe only four abilities. Now we have like eleven at level sixty three. So dream. Get some scrolls, dude. Get some scrolls going. Just bring the big ads into the little ads, blow the little ads, blow the big ads. GG. You don't really need a healer, do you? Uh, I think for some shit you might need one, but I mean, ideally, no. At least not, at least not if you're doing LFR. Maybe even normal, you probably don't need a healer either. Now I keep getting the other abilities that I missed out on. Damn. That's a green transmog right there. I say my cloak just went up. Damn it. No, it didn't. That's why I hate this dungeon, bro. Just this part maybe despise this fucking place. Holy shit. this thing so I can so gonna all explode
We gotta have to use that little item to decrease your hate hatred. Should give that to every Wowhead commenter. Damn, dude, big, big time, big time. Two two K EXP turn in. That's what's up. See, this should technically be like thirty K turn in, but buggered. Oh, we got a uh, new helm, new bracers, new boots, definitely new gloves. These are two-handers, don't need those. I did your weak wars into the remix. Oh, because my weak wars are my same weak wars as retail, because this is retail. You seek answers. If you already have your PTR weak auras set up, then it should just be automatically applied to remix, because it's all the same. The Back up to 4,500. Yay, yay. Ooh, hold on. Ah, shit. That's one red, two green. I'm trying to combine three purples, man. I'm having trouble. Wait, am I wearing a... I am wearing... That's two blues. I don't have an extra blue yet. No, no, I do not. Oh, yeah, maybe I do. Uh, yeah, actually, I do. Hold on, let me see. Right? Yeah, because if I combine these three, I get one blue here. These blues will give me three epics, then three epics will give me a legendary. Yeah, so it'll give me, yeah, it'll give me crit and stamina gem. That's pretty badass. But now I gotta fill out the rest of this shit with other gems. I lost so much crit there, though. Holy fuck. Let's give ourselves speed. I feel the need. The need. Full speed. Speed and leech everywhere. Wait, greater bronze cash. Contains a larger amount of bronze for use with Eternus. Wait, where'd that come from? Wait, when did I get that? I feel like that just came out of fucking nowhere. Like, what? I wonder how long I've had that in my inventory for. You know? Like... I don't know. Let's see what let's see what what's in it though. A thousand bronze. Yeah, yeah. As I say, it got to be like an achievement award or something. Oh, maybe I got that for creating that gem. I don't know. April eighty eight. Thank you for the forty one months. Yeah, I don't. I don't think remix should be even slightly challenging. I think people really underestimate how many people are new players to WoW versus returning players and old players. Holy shit balls! That was awesome. Holy shit again! Easy, easy. How much damage did I do there? Ooh. Look at that. Got the Elegon fucking weapon right there. Hailstorm. Every five, every three seconds build, they charge a hailstorm. Upon reaching 10 stacks, unleash hail on enemies within 50 yards. Huh. That seems pretty cool. I could use that one. What did that monk do? I don't know, man. I don't know. No, no one really knows what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all kinds of fucking crazy. 
That, that's, I think that's the whole point. You're not, you're not even supposed to know what you're doing. I think you're just supposed to like hit your buttons and like everything just blows up, you know? And to be like to be fair, I don't think anyone cares, man. <laughs> you know, I don't think anyone gives a shit. This whole entire remix is like a fucking orange parser's dream. Someone will figure out the best combo, obviously. But I mean, ideally, just I don't know, spam your buttons and shit's just gonna happen. Wow, a dopamine simulator, absolutely. And I think everyone's here for it, bro. You know. Let's get her done. Oh, I got fifth damage on this one. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I think the next boss should be 64. Was betrayed by four emperors of the Mogul. His body destroyed each That's a negative on that one. This is not the last. This will be new here. The Zandalari, ancient allies of the Moki. Would do it be needing what's back that way anyhow? I mean, if the LFR bosses are dying this quickly with a group that's not even 70, I'm assuming at raid 70 level, it's just gonna. I mean, I think it's just gonna die just as fast, honestly. I don't think it's gonna be any different. I mean, you'll probably wipe just because you don't follow mechanics. I'll tell you right now, like at the first sign of any roadblock, Blizzard's gonna nerf it. Like, <laughs> honestly, I don't expect LFR to be spammable when this launches. I think this is just like a PTR thing. Although I wouldn't mind if they were to allow maybe like I don't know, like you could do three LFRs per week or something. You know, that'd be nice. How much more bonus do you have now? 6,500? I think it's daily. It's the daily to kill it. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like nobody knows right now because we we just keep spamming LFR to get like most EXP per hour. I'm not sure if Blizzard actually wants that behavior, considering like you know the whole point of remakes is to actually just you know go through the story, get all the achievements, finish the zones up and shit. You know, that's what I'm saying. Maybe it's just like a PTR thing instead. I can't see this. This is weird. There we go. Uh, 174 shoulders. It ain't no tang. Wind Weaver. Your movement speed is increased by 5% and you have immunity to falling damage. Your abilities have a chance to increase your party's haste for 10 seconds. Fuck all that party shit, bro. I ain't about that life. Oh, still queued for another dungeon. Almost there. Four more healers for Veil of the Eternal Sorrows. Come on, man. Queue for it. Queue for it. I mean, it's like three rows of abilities. Like, you got to put that half of that shit in your bank. The cool thing is you never get a duplicate ability, which is nice. You always get like a new one every time you do get one. 
I mean, by now I've got to have all of them, right? Like, I'm trying to figure out which one I'm missing. I was, I was missing Fervor, which I have now, and, and Hand of Sal or Ward of Salvation. I think that's it. Like, I'm not sure if I'm even supposed to have any more. Maybe some, like, utility movement ones. Well, I think spamming LFR not only is the best EXP per hour, but I think it levels up your cloak faster. Like, I, like I'm at 171 EXP, and I started doing LFR at 60 at, like, 140. So I've already gone up 31% EXP gain just from spamming LFR. I, I feel like the bosses just have a higher chance of increasing your cloak experience instead of doing questing and killing mobs. Oh yeah, w yeah. W which uh, which vendor is that that sells the um, the coins? Speak quickly, or leave. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. I just don't know which vendor it is. What do you want? Yeah, he'll uh, it'll sell like the coin abilities. Has to be one of like the ones in the back. I think like one of these dudes, like maybe normal. No. Is it this one? No. It's gotta be one of these. Um, uh, is it the snacks? Not the snacks guy, right? No, it's not the snacks guy. The one that sells gems. Yeah, see, I, I can never find that one here. I think I've what talked to everybody want? so far. Talk the normal. Oh, wait, this one? No. Do not share what That's the I item share. upgrade vendor. This is World Apparel. Oh, wait, I think it's this guy right here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, see, mine's not grayed out. Let's see, let's see what, what, what meta I don't own yet. Obtain, obtain a meta you don't possess. Obtain a tinker gem you do not possess. Let me see. Locus of power. What's that? Channel arcane power for four seconds every 0.4 seconds. Infuse yourself with two al and two allies within 50 yards with haste, critical strike, and mastery for 30 seconds. That's kind of cool. Store static charge every 10 seconds. Move, uh, moving releases the static charge. Healing allies or damaging enemies. Three in total, preferring injured uh, allies. Enemies suffer damage equal to the static charge, and allies are healed for 150% of the static charge. That sounds interesting. That sounds pretty pretty gnarly. Put that in there. That one sounds pretty pretty fucking good. Let's see if I can buy another one. Fuck, where is he? Unless oh, it's grayed out. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm done. That was the last one I needed for that one. Uh, what else is there? Righteous Frenzy. Healing an ally will send them into a Righteous Frenzy, consuming 1% health every second and granting 7% increased haste for 5 seconds. Okay. What's this one? Oh, that was Deliverance. Is it? Oh, I've got all of them so far. Let's see. Cogwheel. Go on. I'm certain you have things to disengage. Do. Hold on. I got to see disengage as a fucking as a paladin. I just got to see what it looks like. Probably looks like a regular hunter, but I don't know. It just feels weird. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm keeping it. Fuck it. Gives you a boost afterward anyway. I'm keeping it. You can't tell me otherwise. Oh, there's still more? Okay. We'll speak later. Wild charge. Uh, yeah, that's right. I don't have wild charge either. Well, you're certainly How many movement abilities are there? What the fuck? The oh, stampeding roar. You can stamp roar as a pally. That's pretty cool. Yes. You can do anything, I guess, as anybody, really. What else? What else? What else? Vanish. <laughs> Okay. Do you have 
No, nope, we're not done yet. We still got more to go. Sprint. And now we're done. So now I own every single cogwheel gem, tinker gem, and uh, whatever uh, prismatic gem. Probably Pally Vanish after pulling a boss. Honestly, I feel like I want to buy like 17 gems. Yeah, I just wasted all my shit on gems. Yeah, dude, that way I could just get like start combining all these gems and making like more powerful gems, you know? Didn't get a single epic one though. Damn, did all that. Couldn't even make myself a, a, a Giga Gem or anything like that out of all this shit. Came close to it, though. I'm assuming that's what you would be spending your shit on at the end of this entire event would be like, I don't know, like, let's say you run out of shit to buy. You just do gems, I guess. All right, let me replace my gear. This is going to be the tedious part. And then you got to take out everything one by one. Come on. I feel like you shouldn't even upgrade your gear until it's like like 50 levels later or some shit. You know? Feels like a waste of time. Uh, brittle. Static charge. Fervor. At first, I thought it mattered, like, which ones were together. I thought maybe, like, there's more synergy if you put them together in one piece of armor. But I think you just put them wherever and they all just, you know, fucking explode and kill shit. I don't even think, I, I, like, I don't think it matters at all what you do. Let me try Mark of Arrogance. Try that one. And then let me put disengage on my bootsies. And then let's get rid of all this extra loot. Yeah, I think, like, for instance, like, right now, like, the higher item level I salvage, the more bronze I'm getting. Because I'm definitely getting more bronze per item salvage. So it seems like bronze works very... Uh, yeah, it does seem like bronze scales as you keep playing. So, like, everything you do just kind of increases the amount of shit, you know? Yeah, everyone can play it on the PTR. Today's the final day, though. So if you want to try it out, you got to get on the PTR. You have until 10 o'clock tonight, Pacific Standard Time, which means there's about 11 hours left right now. No, 13 hours left right now. Sorry. You know what? The mounts aren't that pricey. I was able to buy nine mounts with 20,000 uh, bronze, which only which up to level 60. So that's not bad at all. Because, I am I mean, to be fair, I already own most of the other mounts. You know? Like, I, like I have every mount in Pandaria on, like, my normal character. So, any mount that's not part of the expansion is something that I could buy. Which is, which is I think, like, like 17 mounts I, I have a possibility of, of uh, getting to increase my collection. Nope, MOP Classic will still be happening. Expected to come out May 2025. 
Once again, this is this has nothing to do with classic. This isn't even the classic engine or this is Dragonflight. Like you're technically still playing retail. That's what people don't understand. This is still this is just retail. I mean, look at my talents. This is retail. It's just they they made a mode where they confined you to Pandaria. That's all they did. You're basically a prisoner of Pandaria. You can't get out. You can't zone out. You can't go to another raid. You can't go to Orgamar. You can't go to the Alliance City. You're literally here in this mode. And all you're doing is just getting ex an excessive amount of fun abilities to just blow shit up and get free stuff. That's it. Yeah, I, I keep telling people, stop trying to psychoanalyze what this is. It's just a fun mode. That's all it is. Technically, Classic uses the D Dragonflight engine. Hmm. That's debatable since Josh Greenfield just said that they were having issues with the tuning and scaling of of mobs and, and uh, you know, creature titles because of old WoW, uh, old WoW data. And the old way the engine worked compared to today. You have enough time to get all the cosmetics you want, I think. I mean, look, if you're the kind of person that you want everything, then I'm sorry. That's just not going to happen. Even with a streamer's amount of playtime, I can't get everything. So if I can't do it, you sure as hell won't be able to. But yeah, I mean, it, let's say you play like two or three classes and you want to get like all the transmogs, which are very cheap. You should be able to get it within the like two months this, this thing is available. Like easily. Is it lasting until TWW? Oh, hell no. But it could last up to two months, which is really nice. I would say six weeks to eight weeks is probably their goal. But they're going to increase the bronze, obviously. That's going to be the first thing they buff. Dude, the thing is, we can't get. I can't get into a Veil of Eternal Sorrows queue because we're about to get into one. But then I'm thinking that the Mogushun pops first. I'm trying to stay in this queue, and I've been in this queue for an hour and a half. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see if there's like three healers and one tank that just queues for Veil because I, I just want to see the tuning of the SOO LFR. Probably until TWW pre patch. That's a long time though. That's like three months, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, if this if this comes out with ten two seven, yeah, ten two seven until the pre patch does seem like a pretty ample amount of time. You know, I mean, if, let's say June eighteenth is ten two seven, then yeah, you would have probably two and a half months to rock this to get all your shit. I think that's more than enough time. As long as they give people notice as to when it's launching, then people will just make time and know what kind of time they have. And as long as they buff the cloak experience and they buff the bronze, everyone should get whatever they want. Like I said, I don't think you'll get everything, but you know, if you're, if you're trying to, if you're like a mage trying to get every mage tier LFR normal heroic mythic and maybe one or two really really rare mounts that you don't have, I think you'll get it. And plus. Even if this event is over, you could still get the other mounts in current retail. You just got to farm them. I mean, the strategy might be doing the opposite. Some people are like, well, you know what? I'm going to get my Shaw mount. I'm going to get my Galleon mount. I'm going to get my Nalik and my Undasta mount. I'd be like, fuck that. Get the other 40 mounts instead of those four. And then just keep farming retail as you have been because they already increased the rate at which those drop, I think. Well, actually, not Nalik, right? Or Undasta. I think it's just Sun and... Or was it all of them? I don't even know if it was all of them. Many don't know they're not rare anymore. True. Oh, it was all of them? Okay, yeah, then yeah. Thank you, Duris. 2,000 with the 66 months. Ooh. You better sub quick again, bro. 66, not good. Not a good number. 
Dude, if there's anyone playing on PTR and you're a tank and a healer, please Q for a veil of eternal sorrows. Please. Mm. Ooh. When's the next MOP time walking? Uh, let's see. Zoe says Hailstorm was trash. I don't know. Uh, when is the next time walking in general? Uh, this one is Burning Crusade. So that's Burning Crusade. This one would obviously be Wrath of the Lich King. Hold on. I got to see this. I mean, the 18th is not bad. I mean, the 18th is the Dragonflight Dungeon event. Oh, no, that's just a regular weekly. Never mind. Yeah, time walking would be June 25th, which is not bad. I mean, that's technically eight, eight, eight to nine weeks after the launch of 1026. So it's very possible. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like Pandaria time walking at the same time as Mist's remix i think i think something's gonna fuck up if those two launch at the same time if you ask me i don't know i i feel like that's a recipe for a fucking disaster dude two more healers one more tank two more healers one more tank let's fucking go yeah like i, I think for me i'm gonna get every mount from a vendor that i don't own because I already own all the MOP ones. And then I'm going to focus on, like, the transmog sets. Because, like, like I said, I could buy all the Paladin tra transmog sets. But I'm only missing, like, one ge piece of gear from each transmog set from Pandaria. I could just do that on my own on retail, right? So, I mean, you know, I, 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 then, then I said to myself, okay, what's the second tank that I play the most? Okay, Blood DK or Brewmaster. I'll probably buy those transmogs, like, full transmogs for those. Because I, I didn't play those classes back then. Well, I did. I did play one tier as a brewmaster. So, nah, dude. I wouldn't say you can get all the stuff from the vendors in one weekend. No way. You know, I mean, I got fifteen hours played, and I, I'm up to about maybe twenty six thousand bronze. That should get me almost all the mounts, though. But like I said, my my fifteen hours for you that could be three weeks worth of playtime, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the average casual plays nowadays. It definitely seems like a lot of the posts that are made on like social media and like Reddit and MMO Champion and Wowhead, it does seem like there's a lot of like, you know. I, I mean, I can't, you don't even know if it's vocal majority or minority, but people are like, oh yeah, I only have one hour to play WoW each week. And I'm like, well, then what are you doing? <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's so weird. Like I always say to myself, man, if you're paying fourteen ninety nine for a, ga a, a game to play every month, and you only could play it once per week, so that's four hours per month, is that really worth your fourteen ninety nine at that point? I don't know. I feel like those people are really over exaggerating. I think they're lying. I think they're fucking lying. I'll say I don't care. I don't care how how uh, unempathetic I I sound, but I I kind of feel like that you've got to be lying. Like I can't imagine you spend that much money per month to play for four hours in 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 a in a month. That's 30 days times 20 out of a possible 600 something plus hours or whatever the fuck the mathematics is. Like, you only have four hours. That's crazy. I always feel like, you know, if you know an event is coming and you know it's going to come on a certain date and you know it's going to last a certain amount of time, then, that, then that, as a fucking adult, you probably should know how to manage your time to make time to, to play something if you're paying for it. And I don't, I don't think that's a hot take. I think that's just life. You know, like every day, everyone manages their time with their job and playing games and uh, being with their kids and hanging out with their wife and going out to dinner and going to the movies and doing shit, right? Like, you stop making sense. I'm not, I'm not trying to make sense. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to think about, like, you know, those people that do make those ridiculous posts that, oh, you know. They're not respecting my time with this time limited event. I could, I could only play WoW once a week for an hour. And I'm like, what do you normally get done in an hour? <laughs> like, that's like maybe um, maybe possibly two Mythic Plus dungeons if you do it really, really quick. Like, what's your, like, what's your item level in, in Dragonflight? Are, are you even max level yet? Or are you like 420? 
or 23. You're right. Fuck my kids. I'll play MOP Remix. Yeah, have them join you. You see what they do now? Like, there's these desks that come with little extendable chairs for babies. You just put them in there while you play. And you give them, like, an imaginary toy mouse and they play with you. It's fucking crazy. Keep them occupied. Stimulate the brain. They they got that shit for real, bro. Oh, dude, I got I gotta find a TikTok of that fucking psycho lady. That shit had me fucking wrong. I sent Lula like this fucking TikTok that just made me die. <laughs> it made me fucking die, bro. I was gonna get a link to it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's the it was the whole like um would you love me if I did this? Would you love me if I did that? Or whatever. And it was like a creepy one. I'm going to post it in my in my cesspool so then I can just like watch it on stream. I don't even know. You might know which one I'm talking about if I post it. Hold on. Let me mute this and mute this really quick. Every day there's like one TikTok that makes me laugh in real life. You know, sometimes there's just like laughing in your head. Then there's like laughing in IRL. When something makes you laugh in IRL, it's fucking funny. Okay, I think I found it. This has got to be the one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, shit, hold on. It's making me do a puzzle thing to make sure I'm not a bot or some shit. It's this one right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got to increase the volume. Hey, babe. Yeah? Would you still love me if I had a buzz cut? Yeah. Aww. Would you still love me if I had one leg? I would even call you Eileen. <laughs> would you still love me if I was a tapeworm? Um, and I just lived in your stomach and you fed me all day with the food you're digesting? I, I guess so. Would you still love me if I was an autistic aunt? Are there neurodivergent ants? That's cool. Would you love me if I was a depressed banana? Okay, what? Would you love me if I was a banana with mental health issues? Yes, I'd love you no matter what. Prove it. What? Prove it. How? <laughs> that, that scream at the end got me the most, bro. That scream at the end fucking killed me. That scream at the end killed me. I don't know anyone that asked their fucking significant other that bullshit. Let me tell you, that's just ridiculous. Would you love me if I was an autistic ant? He's like, oh, well, you know, if, I didn't know ants were neurodivergent. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Laura clearly is a weirdo. Oh, you know who that? I have no idea who that is. I don't know. If that's a known content creator or something. I, I have no idea who that is. I just saw the video and cracked the fuck. Maybe cracked the fuck up. Wait, this PTR is gone soon. Yeah, today. Well, not the whole PTR. I mean, you can still do 1027 as they update it with like whatever they're updating it with, but But yeah. Yeah, this was only a 3-day testing event. Ends tonight. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, they don't want every player in WoW doing this before it launches as if it's, like, for free, and then you feel like you don't want to resub to do it when, it when it comes live. It's just like, you know, they're just giving you a little bit of the crack, just a little taste. You get a little taste right now, and then, you know, and then you get the real thing they got to pay for it later. First taste is free, you know? Is retail new player friendly from the vids I watch? Doesn't seem like many people will like it either. Well, you should stop watching videos and just fucking do it. You'll see how easy it is. Everything in WoW is breadcrumbs. You just follow the dots, follow the breadcrumbs. You just do it. There's no, there's no confusion. You know. I would even argue that WoW is easy for a brand, brand, brand new infant player than it is for someone who's coming back after three or four years. Because for them, they remember the game differently than it is today. For you, everything is new, so you're just following instructions. You would be the infant player if you've never played WoW in your life, yes.
And if you ever confuse that what to do, you just hit Shift J, and then you have like the, um, you know, you have like the fucking what is it called? The summary thing that tells you what you can do and all that other shit. What quest you're on. Yeah, there's there's no confusion with WoW. You can't go wrong. It's it's the it's actually the easiest MMORPG to get into from level one to max. The the only other one I would say is easier is probably the Old Republic. Yeah, Swotor is pretty easy too. But Swotor is kind of easy until like fifty when you're done with the main storyline and you get the achievement. Then after that, it's a little dicey. You, when are we getting Star Wars The Old Republic Classic, bro? How have they not done that yet, by the way? You know? Like, how, how have they not done that? I feel like, they, I feel like Star, SWOTOR with, like, the, you know, with, without all the bullshit in, in, a, in a classic mode. You know? No, I'm only, I think we just finished the third episode of Fallout. We'll be watching mostly, most of it, the rest of it today. Yeah, SWOTOR Remastered, bro. Dude, we're playing Star Wars on May the 4th before we do the rips. Yeah, that, that rip stream is going to be like a 17-hour stream or something. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start playing Star Wars early in the morning. I might start doing some of the storylines of the classes that I haven't played yet in the past. And then, and then we're going to hopefully open up 51 boxes of cards. It's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. Right now, we have 43 boxes. I, and I'm once again I'm I'm on that eBay working on that last box. It just so happens to be the most expensive box. Like three grand expensive. But it'll be worth it though. I mean it'll be an entire case of Star Wars Masterworks, which is like that's like what? Four times, wait, four times eight, like 32 of those little mini boxes. That's 32 hits in a case. Excuse me. But yeah, as of now, 43 confirmed boxes. So I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to, it might actually be pretty fast to rip. I don't know. Because a lot of those boxes only have like one, one touch in it. Others are others are packs of cards. Others are packs plus a one touch. Others are mini boxes upon mini boxes. Yeah, so see for me, I think Star Wars is a harder game to follow. And uh, Guild Wars, oh my god, Guild Wars two. There's no way. Like every time I leave Guild Wars and I play it and I come back like a year or two later, I have to start a new character every time because every time I log into an existing character, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, I really don't know what the hell is going on. Like, I just don't. I feel like Guild Wars, to me, is like the least friendly return to play game. And Final Fantasy XIV as well. But Final Fantasy XIV is not that bad as long as you're following, I guess, like the MSQ icon. Yep, they're going to have to fix this shit, bro. I'm not even sure what's going on right now. I'll be real with you. There's a lot of healing going on. Not enough brittles. I got a 4090 and I'm struggling, dog. There's too many spell IDs going on. There's just too many. The spell IDs are fucking ridiculous right now, dude. I've actually never had this low FPS ever since I've had this computer. And I, and I got a pretty good top of the line origin PC. And I've had the same PC for about a year and a half now. And it's still top of the line. You know, it's like 40, 40, 90 fucking 64 gigs of RAM. Yeah, like it's fucking ridiculous. Literally insane. Of the Guardians. 
Yeah, if you have anything under like a 3060, your computer's gonna fucking explode. <laughs> no bullshit. Like. By the way, Origin does have some pretty awesome deals. If you guys are looking to get a new PC, check out my Origin link. They got about two, three hundred bucks off some PCs, some good ready to ship PCs. I think they're, I think they're trying to like get out some of their old inventory stuff. I'm assuming some new processors and GPUs are coming pretty soon. Yeah, they got a pretty sweet 4070 Ti build right now for ready to ship. Ready to ship means that the computer's already ready to go. You just buy it and they ship it to you. Gets to you pretty quick too. It's like a a one week shipping process. I have a 1070. You're fucked, man. <laughs> I think I think even if you set your settings to like one, you're still probably fucked. That archivist Arch Arch edge is fucking up shit. Holy fuck. Yeah, just you, you gotta you gotta go back to that preach video where he has all the little what was it like the, the jelly bean video or whatever the fuck he has? I don't know, I forgot what it was called. The video where he was trying to explain why like Shadowlands and BFA are fucking like lagging your computers and shit. They were dice. Yeah, all, all like the Dungeons and Dragon dice. Yep, that's it. What's this do? I think my GPU is pretty damn good too. I don't know. Plus, is dying super slow. I can tell because I'm topping meters right now. Usually I'm not at the top of the meters, but it could be because I just added the Arcanus Edge to my DPS. Once this fucker gets under 10% health, though, it's going to get fucking real, real, real fast. So it might just shoot up in damage. Oh, sh oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? Oh yeah, wait, Slayer doesn't really count for uh for bosses. Forgot about that shit. Top damage. See what did that what was that? Yeah, that was Fervor and Arcanist Edge and Mark of Arrogance. Doing all that fucking damage. Forever is the anime power from um from the from Sanctum of Domination. While you're above eighty percent health, your attacks consume two percent of your maximum health to inflict holy damage. But that that was a regular ad anima power, right? It just did regular damage though. Yeah, that was part of the first boss talents. Maybe a setting or an add-on issue. I mean, it could, I think it could definitely be an add-on for sure, considering add-ons are not really optimized right now on this version of the PTR yet. But yeah, for, for sure, it could be an add-on. Absolutely. My RX 580 is killing the game. You don't really need a 4090 to play. Did you just say 580?
What what fucking generation is that? Is that, is that like an AMD or something? Well, there was a 580 Ti, I think, oh, back in the day. Time to play, amigos. Let this fucker drop. I'm only doing three times the damage of the next best person. No big deal. Top in the healing meters and the DPS meters like a fucking boss, bro. Mine is a GTX 4060. Damn. If it works, it works, you know? Am I right? If it works, it works. The t actually, the top two damage are tanks. I was Ward that time. How's the stats in the cloak looking? Uh, let's see. I was at 171. I am at 171. So that was just bad RNG. I didn't get any upgrades to my cloak that time. That's what, that's what I don't like. I just I, I hate the cloak RNG. I don't know why it's a thing. I'm hoping they fix it. I'm hoping like the cloak has like a set thing, you know? Like, every time you do an LFR, you're guaranteed one upgrade, you know. Yeah. 580 came out in 2017. Damn. It's like seven years ago already, bro. When you, that's crazy. When you think about it, 2017 was seven years ago. Fuck. Are you supposed to do multiple alts to max it out? Uh, maybe. That could be the play. That, that, that could be the play. Let me see. What is Origin? That's my Origin link. I think, they, I think they're keeping the whole upgrade thing. Yeah, Origin is doing the 300% off of the 13th gen laptops, 275 off custom desktops. That's the ones that you build. And then they give you a free game with a bonus qualifying systems. Then you get the two-year part warranty replacement upgrade. It's usually just one. And, and ground shipping is free. But what I was talking about is ready-to-ship systems. They usually always have three. And yeah, the, the 4070 Ti Super is their least price one, but with their probably best. I mean, this is, the, this is the tower that I have. Oh, no, wait. I have this tower? Hold on. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have this tower. Yeah. And as always, Origin does do financing. If anyone was looking to finance a computer? Um, you know, and you have a steady job, you can literally pay off a computer in two years for one that'll last you like six or seven. And for some of you guys, maybe fucking damn near 11 years. You know? <laughs> that's, that's fucking crazy. I don't know, man. Different parts of the world, though. Different economies, obviously. But yeah, it's like, it's weird when I hear someone say, yeah, I haven't had a new computer since 2011. I'm just like, really? That's crazy. That's like... 13 years. Like, I'm not even sure if... Yeah. Don't do that. Don't pay off a computer. Oh, yeah. You'll definitely be paying more than the price of the computer for sure. Interest rates and all that shit. I'm just saying, majority of people that use my link, I would say 60% use the financing feature. Just for that reason alone. 
odds are you're going to have a $2,600 computer that you're going to end up paying like twenty nine dollars to $3,000 for after it's all said and done. She's expensive, bro. I don't know, man. Like, Amazon got, like, those $800 computers that have, like, 4060s in it now. I see people buying that shit all the time, although I don't trust any of that nonsense. But, you know, Amazon does have really good um, warranties. Just not the customer support for it. That would get you like uh get you the item nothing making you pay just the payment if you could pay it off in chunks i don't understand what you just said i don't know i'm just saying a lot of people that buy computers from like all the main computer websites usually either finance or full pay one or the other it's all it's, honestly like i said it's all about how future proof the computer is if you're paying let's say i don't know 120 bucks a month for a pc for 36 months, which is three years, and you know that computer will last you seven or eight, or in your some of your cases, 11 or 12, then it's a good investment. But yeah, you would pay more because of interest rates. Holy shit, 18 99 APR for financing. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, it's a lot, dude. Actually, that seems kind of low. I thought it was, I thought it was like 23%. A while ago. Maybe maybe it got lower. I don't know. Yeah, dude, just like the housing market, bro. Interest rates in the housing market right now, what are they, like 7 8%? It's fucking nuts. We are so lucky when we got this house. We got this house right before COVID and before all the crazy shit happened. We're, we're, we're like a... Every day I get those dumbass text messages from people like the local real estate agent saying, hi, my name is Sarah. I want to talk to you about refinancing your home. I'm like refinancing? Bitch, you crazy. I'm, I'm like a 2.6. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? <laughs> the fuck? Like, get the fuck out of here. Not everyone's going to qualify for that 19%. True. Bro, when my, my first origin financing was a laptop because they've been doing financing since fucking 2012, 13. They were the first computer company to do financing for their PCs. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that that that, that, that was when my credit was fucked, fucked or in the early days of streaming. You know, it took me years to realize. Uh, I had like a 525 credit score and they approved me with like, I think like 16% at that time. I don't know. Seems like the threshold is not that crazy. Hey, Mark, when is war with an alpha? Who the fuck is Mark? Verdell, I get those text messages every day. I have to, like, block each one of them, like their numbers and their fucking whatever. Every day I got to block one of these fucking dudes, man. I was next week. Now nah, that's what the roadmap says. That ain't a secret. You don't know Mark? No, who the fuck is Mark? Uh. Alva's been going on. Where you been? Oh, yeah. Apparently, someone on MMO Champion says that a streamer that loves hammers said that people are playing an internal alpha. And I'm like, I didn't say that shit. Ain't nobody playing an internal alpha right now. No, no streamer or content creator has touched any version of War Within. I can 100% guarantee you that. Well, we'll be touching it next week, probably. So, I saw that post and I'm like, bro, stop, stop, stop spreading these fucking lies, dude. He's like, oh yeah, a streamer that loves hammers, let it slip. I'm like, what do you mean I let it slip? I let what slip? Y'all crazy as fuck. Oh, there's the Holly Longdale post. Excited to be in London to talk about World of Warcraft with press and creators this week. IRL dynamic flight lag be damned. Let's go. Wonder if this will be in regards to TWW Alpha stuff or just remix related. Yeah. Holly's flying all the way from America to London to talk to you about MOP remix. Come on, man. Stop it. You know damn well what she's going to talk about. <laughs> Stop that shit.
Why would she fly for an alpha? I mean, it could be an alpha event for European creators, maybe. We don't know. As American creators and North American creators, we, we, we do different shit than the European content creators do. It's different community management teams. It's the same reason why when an expansion comes out, uh, the gifts that we get from Blizzard for launch day are different than the gifts that Europe get. Honestly, Europeans always get the good shit. No offense to the American side of the community management team, but the European community always gets the best shit. Let me tell you that. Yeah, they get the trips and the fucking live event stuff, and they get all the fucking, like, cool gifts. You know, we get, like, five beta keys to give out or something, you know? Nerd girl, thank you for the 55 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I am Spaceman Spiff. I'm converting to a T1 sub. You're awesome. Crimson Ray, thank you for the 71 monther. Yeah, we actually do get a bigger benefit during BlizzCon than European streamers do. That's for sure. Because there's no European BlizzCon. So, uh, honestly, Oceanic is always fucked up. Like, Oceanic team handles like Panda and like two other people, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, and I think Haughty Chicken, right? I think she's your uh, uh, Australian. Like in past BlizzCons, you know, you, there's no, you know, like it would be like Lore, who was the community management team at uh, uh, leader at that time. Like he, he's handling like all the North American streamers, which is a big job to do. Then you have like the European community management team handling all the European creators which is bigger uh, more there's more european creators than there are north american creators so they're fucking swamped and then panda is just walking around blizzcon with the community management team of oceanic because they only handle him and like two other people <laughs> so you just see you just see panda walking around with the community manager around all of blizzcon because what else is he gonna do what else is he gonna do he has nothing else to do besides handle like two oceanic people it's probably way more now, way, way more. But this is like five years ago, six years ago. Uh, I say a name there. Erosinus Senpai? Ero uh, Erosarin Senpai? I'll just call you Senpai. Think of the five months. But yeah, it, it, it's always different. Yeah, if it was one big unified community influencer team that handles all the content creators, then, then yeah, I guess a lot of us would be going to London this week, but we're not, so. Even when it comes to, like, the release of beta and alpha and, like, early access shit, I mean, sometimes the Europeans get their accounts flagged first. Sometimes the North American creators get their accounts flagged first. That's why you're, you, you'll sometimes see some salty people. Saying, oh shit, you know, why is Tally, Max, and, you know, Sloot flagged and I'm not? Well, because you have to wait until your side of the world wakes up and then sends the spreadsheet to flag accounts. You know if Origin is going to live stream the last Epoch PC? What last Epoch PC? Have I bought a bunker yet? No, but I got a pretty cool backyard. Last Epoch PC. You do you do know that that was a giveaway from like two months ago now, right? That shit's like pretty much over, and the winner was already drawn, and I think they already got their computer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they already got their PC. I think. Fuck it. We're we're never we're, we're never gonna get a fucking cue into the goddamn veil of eternal sorrows. Unfortunate. What I gotta do is I gotta find two tanks and five healers, and then we got a cue for it, and then I think we get in. I'm gonna try that after this next LFR. Did you make sure you buy yours from Vault Tech? Yo, dude, vault fucking vault number 69, bro. Let's go. Represent. Uh, I'm up to 171 EXP on my cloak at 64.
I got SOD raid tomorrow night, though. That's exciting. Can't stream it, though, unfortunately. I want to stream it, but I can't stream it because I'm not here. But I'll be here to play that, but I can't play it on stream. <laughs> There's going to be a point for a lot of streamers next week where your desktop and your computer will just be a fucking liability. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just going to be a liability. You know? If I hit my start button, if I hit tab or something, like, you know, fucking dead. Blizzard fucking takes you while you're walking your dog, puts a bag over your head, and takes you to a remote location off the fucking keys or something. Bro, I'm telling you right now, I am not going to London. That's once again, that's EU shit, not NA shit. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, if there was any major event going on all over the world for World of Warcraft, the European streamers would probably go to London. We would just go to the headquarters. But I mean, I'm not going there either. So, because I mean, I'm 40 minutes away from Blizzard headquarters. I could just drive up there and be like, hey, I'm Tally. Let me in. They'll be like, you're not on the list. Get the fuck out of here. I'll be like, all right, cool. Yeah, I think most sweaty people are going to be hitting max level in MOP within the first day. It's going to be very easy. It, I mean, it all depends if you can spam LFR or not. If you can't spam LFR, then you'll probably take the normal amount of time. And, and you have to remember, this is the PTR. So the PTR obviously has less people playing altogether. So imagine your server or just all servers. I mean, you know, I'm on Illidan, right? So you know this thing, LFR is going to just be instantly popping over and over again if it's continuous. Do I like it? Yeah, I like the remix. It's fun. Look at me, topping, topping damage meters with random abilities I've never heard of in my life. Lightning Rod, Fervor, Arcanist Edge, Ward of Salvation, Mark of Arrogance. What's crazy is, is that these abilities aren't even like retail abilities or... Only maybe one or two look like pr previous anima powers, right? Like, it's almost like SOD where they just made new runes. But these are, like, way crazier than runes. These are just, like, straight up, you just auto attack and you do, like, a bazillion damage. I bet, I bet most of Blizzard knows who you are. I doubt that. You kind of have... Dude, you have no idea. Like, they, they really don't. They really don't know who you are. I would bet probably 75% of, like, employees at Blizzard don't even fucking watch Twitch. There's, like, a few that do. Like, obviously, if you're, like, a, an Ian or a Morgan or a Jeremy Feasel or a Holly or a John Height, like, you you know, it's their job to be in tune with all, all aspects of YouTube and Twitch and Kick and whatever the fuck, right? Yeah, there's only like a certain amount of like developers out there that know you. I know they have our streams playing at their offices most of the time. I know during the launch of Shadowlands and Dragonflight, you know, they were sending me and, and Max and other people screenshots of like them playing our streams during like, you know, where their main conference room is located and shit. So they'll probably be like, oh, you're that guy that sometimes we see on the screen playing World of Warcraft and stuff. I don't know. No, right now there's no LFR lockout at all. I think, I mean, I think it's intended. Considering you can queue up for the first LFR at level 25, I feel like it's intended. But yeah, I mean, I've actually visited so many blizzard developers twitters and instagrams and they don't they don't even post about wow at all some do some are like oh this is like the you know dungeon i made this is like the raid that i made others just like their social media is just actually social media for like social reasoning they don't even say in their title that they're from the company 
Others are like, yeah, I'm a executive producer, whatever. My thoughts are my own. I don't think the whole my thoughts are my own thing really saves you if you berate your own fucking company on social media, though. I don't think that's the way it works anymore. I think it used to work that way. I don't think it works like that anymore. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I remember Overwatch uh, esports players had that shit on their Twitter just so they could say some dumb racist shit online. Then when they would say it, they get fucking banned by Blizzard anyway. Bro, Ambio. I, I, I saw a, a two case, four box basketball flawless break last night. 20, 23 grand, bro. Not 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 a single fucking hit, dude. Not a single major hit. It was it was like it was like 16 cards and like 14 of them were all just like old players. Oh, it was fucking horrific. It was fucking bad. It was so bad. Oh my god, it was her. It was so bad, man. I think the best card was like a out of ten diamond art, uh, art or a diamond card of um, who's that white boy from the Jazz? That's really good. Everyone likes. It was him. He was the only guy that got pulled that was like halfway decent. Walker, yeah, I think it was Walker Kessler. Yeah, I think it might. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, Kessler sounds familiar. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's just like it's crazy to me, man. It's fucking insane that people buy into those breaks. I just don't know how. I mean, those people have to have fuck you money. They got you. Got to have fuck you money to buy into a fucking break like that. Like I said, e even the 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 case of baseball flaws that I opened, I made like two k off of that, and it cost me four k. So yeah, it was like it's just it's you, you'll never make your money on that shit like ever. I mean, maybe if like some of the rookies that I got end up panning out, then later on down the road, like I have like the I got that like auto RPA of like uh, Juan Soto's little brother. Like, let's say, I don't know, let's say he becomes just as good as his brother when he comes up in two or three years. And yeah, maybe that card's worth like a couple of grand. Remember the video fandom that was with you? I am JP, Baj and Lore. I do not. I was pretty happy yesterday. We got that Paul Skeens auto out of Vivid. That was pretty sweet. I think I have. What do I have ending today? I put up. I put up some sp such sporadic shit on eBay this week that I have no idea even when my listings are ending. I, I honestly don't fucking know. What do I have ending today? Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's, let's see. Today, what we have ending is a couple of patch notes cards. Surprisingly, the Warcraft one doesn't have a bid, which is odd. Uh, yeah, the Quicksilver auto. Yeah, a lot a lot of the Marvel stuff is ending today. Oh, yeah, and the Bob... Dude, these Bobby Wits are going to fucking pop off today. These Bobby Wits are going to pop off in the last minute. I I, I think this one's going to go for like 80. This one might go for two. Yeah, there we go. So just this and up. And then these end in like a day or two. Yeah, n n next three days should be interesting. Next three days should be interesting on the eBay's. How, you know, how can we not have a fucking queue yet for anything? What the fuck? We've we been here for a minute. Did people just stop queuing? Did everyone hit 70? What's going on? Oh, shit. I knew it. I didn't fucking queue as a healer in DPS. I was like, fuck, man. You selling your cards? Of course. That's how I make money to do more rips. And do events and stuff. I only keep personal collection cards. I have no reason to keep other cards. 
Yeah, all of that Marvel product that I opened, I, I I got like two Captain Americas, not even numbered. He's the only guy that I collect for cards. But I got everything else that was pretty sweet. How big is your question that he won't sell? Uh, as many Yankees, Colts players that I have, I guess. Taser face, thank you. And I'd say probably like 50 slabs and two boxes worth of top loaders and one touches. I mean, I would sell anything. Everything has a price. I mean, I've seen people with Babe Ruth cards that are diehard Yankee fans sell their shit because people offered them obscene amounts of money. Like, I'm waiting for my Arthas Transmog card to get back from PSA, hopefully early next week and or this week, like to maybe even Tuesday or Wednesday. Should be pretty cool. I mean, if that shit grades a 10. Woo wee. If that shit grades a 10, believe it or not, that Arthas card kind of becomes the most expensive card in my collection, I think. Value wise, it does. But it's also a very niche product and would require an extremely large whale to buy off of me. You got to be wailing, wailing. So that's just the blizzard. I mean, I don't think anyone at blizzard is going to afford 15 to 20 grand to buy that card, bro. Lord Cookie. Thank you, Lord Cookie. He's a cookie monster. Actually, it's more than a 12K card. But, you know. I have a value at 10. With a PSA 10, it becomes like 20. That one dude, all he had to do was just give me a thousand bucks more. He would have had that card before I sent it to get graded. I'm actually sending that Colossus. I'm sending that Colossus to get graded. I, se I sent out um, an offer to people because I have it up for 800 bucks. I was like, I typed in a message, 500 bucks, final offer. I'm going to give everyone who's watching. If not, it it'll be it'll be down by the end of today, so I get it graded this week. Well, the good thing about having a very high-priced card in your eBay is that it attracts a lot of people to your eBay. It's almost like bait. Because someone will be like, oh, shit, this guy's a $20,000 Arthas. Let me see what else he has, you know? I might need to requeue for all for these since I unclicked fucking my shit. I gotta check if I got upgrades. I did. Shit. Okay. Uh. Oh, weapon upgrade. And armor upgrade. I fucking knew it. I mean, this is the tedious part. It's just all the fucking constant gemming and ungemming, and especially especially when you have triple fucking sockets for like everything, it gets super annoying. Wish there was a way for this to just automatically update or transition to like the next piece of gear. Is season four going to be less attractive to the MOP remix? MOP remix is limited time. Season four is just season four. Plunder Storm will be over by then. And Cat is its own thing. Season four is just there, bro. It's there if you want to play it. Only like five or six Blizzard devs handle that shit. And if I, they're not going to get offended if you ignore it. But like I said, WoW is a gear, is a gear game. 
if, if your item level is not max and you have room to improve your gear, people will play it. And that's what season four is going to be for people who want to upgrade their gear and get the best possible gear and item level before the, the expansion comes out on multiple characters. Excuse me. Yeah, Plunderstorm is also a limited time event. That'll be gone in a few weeks. Technically, it should be gone by next Tuesday, but they haven't announced it yet, so I'm assuming that they're going to probably let that shit ride. Uh, thank you, God Complex 33. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, for me, I could probably almost max out my item level in the first day of Season 4 just spamming Mythic Plus Dungeons. But then again, by then, Alpha will be out, so I'll probably be playing a lot more Alpha. I mean, even Alpha has its limits, you know? I mean, you have to, you have to remember, Blizzard's going to be target testing Alpha just like they did in DF, so it's not like we're going to get the entire game of the war within the test, right? It's going to be like one zone at a time every two weeks. I'm pretty sure even, like, There'll, there'll probably be a lot of classes that you won't be able to access their hero talent abilities, and then a lot of them you will be able to, you know? One or two dungeons, maybe one or two delves. I don't know. I'm not even sure how many delves you can possibly even have. But yeah, I mean, you know, I like playing it all the time. I just, I just want to test out the paladin fucking ornaments. I, I, I got to see how that works. But yeah, for other players, you definitely have to figure out what you want to do. I mean, you, ha you have a season four is from April 23rd, which is in a week or so until the end of the expansion, right? Because even when 1027 comes out, even when pre patch comes out, you're still in season four. So you, you have months that you have, you have like four or five months to get all your shit. You think they will learn off of pandemonium and bring back gem enchant custom build priority? No. No way. Wow, retail is seasonal and, organize, and very organized. The, 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 this right here, we're playing. This is some unorganized, unhinged shit. <laughs> this, is, this is this is just Blizzard just throwing the fucking kitchen, the sink, the toilet, the fucking couch, the coffee table. They're just throwing everything at you and saying, "Here, just fucking go." Nothing here. I expect to make it to retail. Four to five months is War Within coming out in the fall? Probably, yeah. I, I have it set to come out September 17th with a 13th early access. That's my date. I'm not sure what the actual date is, though. I mean, to be fair, Season of Discovery is like very limited kind of content, depending on what your goal is. I think after like week three of like a new phase, it's mostly people just making gold. By then, most people already have like their crafted gear and they might they might have gone into the raid. I don't know. Like SOD is like a sweaty players kind of thing right now, it seems like. I mean, everyone was able to level within the first like 24 hours because of incursions, right? So most people probably already have their tunes max. And even if they don't, you only need about, what, seven plus hours of incursions with the current tuning and experience to get max level as well. If one day retail brings back old raids with a proper difficult tuning, that's too much. That's not seasonal content. Wow is seasonal content. You're talking like what Star Wars did when Star Wars was di started dying off. They, they said, come back and play every old raid we have with current, you know, with current tuning. And you can even get current gear. Like Blizzard's not going to stray away from the seasonal content. That's just what retail is. Like the whole like eight dungeon, mega dungeon, one raid, and then two patches in between like 
whatever we saw in Dragonflight, that's the rest of the World Soul Saga. You don't even have to question it. Unless they change it, which I doubt. Yeah, in the season, yeah, in the season force type scenario, it would 100% work out for sure. The ancient lords of the Mogu, untouched by time for thousands of years, who knows what secrets await? Many young Pandaren warriors have vanished into this tomb. Have no wits about you. It was all my brittle homies at, bro. There you go. I love Lord Walker's show. He just keeps saying, that was close. They almost got us. That was close, Tal the Tank. Holy FPS, Batman. No shit. Technically, that's like the only boss that that's really going to happen at, though. So, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, eventually Blizzard will bring back all the old expansions and all the old arrays, but I don't think we'll ever see a season of WoW during the expansion itself outside of season, the, the faded season where they're just going to bring back, I don't know, like fucking BWL and say, here, do BWL at current tuning and deal with one ability per boss and have some fun. I don't know. Doesn't seem like part of their MO. What the fuck is this guy doing? Hair open wounds. What the fuck is that? That's a feral druid? Dude, he's doing like more damage than the rest of the raid. Holy shit. Look at that. 52% of his damage and then 41%. And then it's 1%. What is that combo? Holy shit. That's like, that, that's nasty, bro. I think Pharaoh is, has bug scaling. Nah, man, let them cook, bro. Let them cook. Let the Pharaohs fucking cook. They hungry, dude. When's the last time they were fucking relevant? This whole raid is cracked right now. So sad these fights have cool mechanics. Yeah, I know. Fuck it. I mean, the mechanics are still happening. They're just not hurting. Because it's, you know, LFR. Damn, we killed him before he got to the third area. That's nuts. I didn't even ding. What the fuck? Oh, I was about to ding. Damn, dude, I've been at 171 experience gain forever now. Holy shit. What the fuck, dude? Only to rise again. God damn it. This is not the last we have seen of Bane. The Tangalari, ancient allies of the Mogul. They must seek the legendary. We're toward beneath what's back there. I'm, I'm going to die here for sure. I'm going to bubble. These walls house a weapon of unimaginable power. Stop them. Wall. Brittle. Yes, Paladin Tank. I mean, technically, bro, your, your Paladin Tank won't even be a Paladin Tank. I mean, look at me. I'm over here disengaging like a hunter and her leaping like a warrior. And then all my, all my power comes from Passive tinker cogwheel shit. You know? Are you able to get rare mogs for other armor types? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think you could buy it with whoever, I think. Bro, look at that shit. He just fucking popped off at the beginning. Look at that damage. What the 
fuck? 13, 16 million? Holy fucking shit. What the hell? What's even going on right now? Bro! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> what the show on? I gotta see this. Primal Wrath consumes up to four seconds of rip damage on target. It hits and deals 50% of it instantly. Oh. Bro. Like, delete the VOD. <laughs> what the fuck? That is disgusting, man. You know why they didn't add challenge mode sets? I mean, I don't know why, but I'm assuming they just wanted to keep the integrity of the set for the players that did it. I mean, that's just my guess. It's feral time, baby. It's feral time, baby. Go, go, go. Yeah, I could transmog plate. Sure. Yeah, the transmog guy, like, where, where is it? Right here? Oh, wait, that's not trans. Uh, where, where's the transmog person? Somebody here is like a transmogger. I don't know who it is, though. One of these vendors allows me to transmog. Uh, female Torin. Uh, where's she at? Female Torin. Oh, her. Here we go. Yeah, see, I can I I can apply my my gear. Yeah, th don't forget, you're literally on retail when you're playing Remix. So all your mounts, all your fucking transmogs, all that is with your character. Even though you're playing a, a separate version of retail, th that's linked because you're still within Dragonflight. So I can use my challenge mode play gear in MOP Remix. Sure. Yeah, the appearance of it, absolutely. I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. You know? I don't know why I have mail. Oh, hold on. Recovered items. This is a bonus experience to recover. Whoa, what the fuck? Is all this? Wait, did I did I just not loot these? Oh my god, I can't even use it. Look at that. No, these are my cloak items. Holy shit, these are my cloak items. Why didn't they apply? Well, some of them are. Not all of them. Most of them are stamina. I've never had my bags full, though. Oh, my God. I can't use it. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm mounted. Oh, it's... Well, no. Th these automatically get used when you loot a boss. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't know. Well, like I said, th like I said these are just stamina related. No, I don't think any of these are the actual cloak. Well, they, they are for the cloak, for the stamina of the cloak. There's a shield. Yeah, this is booty as fuck. Well, I guess I got a vendor this shit or something. I don't know. Reload. I don't think that's going to work. But maybe, I mean, maybe. Maybe that works. Did you read the cloak manual before you started? Not really. Yeah, no, because these are auto-used abilities, so you can't actually activate them yourself. I, can, can I even sell them? I can't even tell. The merchant doesn't want that item. Fuck, man. Just delete them. I don't give a shit at this point.
I'll get better gear as I do more of this shit. What I can do is maybe like maybe when I defeat a boss, it'll consume it automatically. Right, right, it's possible. Copium. Yeah, it definitely wasn't that I didn't have enough bag space. I've always, look at all this bag space I have down here. Anyway, I gotta go to use the bathroom real quick. BRB. Uh, that one one time during the week where the stomach goes crazy with the poops. Poop time.
Yo, who saw that fucking Max Holiday ending last night, bro? My God. Probably one of the best things I've seen in UFC in like fucking 10 years. That shit was bananas, bro. Fucking caught the tail end of that, and I was like, dude. What a what a psycho. He's got you gotta be psycho to do some shit like that. My man already has the fight won. The 10 second, you know, knock, knock, knock thing happens. He just go, he fucking points in the middle of the mat. He goes, let's go right here, right here, all out, right here. And they just start swinging, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then with like two seconds, a second left, he gets the fucking knockout. I've never seen that shit before. You could have just drawn out the last 10 seconds, celebrated if you wanted to, and it would have been over. Nope. He says, let's, let's throw down. He needed a knockout for the win. Uh, people were saying he was pretty much going to win regardless, right? I, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm almost positive he was up four rounds. Yeah, like. Don't trust them judges. Ah, uh, I mean, bro, stop it. <laughs> like, come on. Go on, man. I'm, I'm trying to see the replay. I can't find a replay anywhere. It's probably on TikTok somewhere. Probably, probably Twitter, actually. Twitter had it all over the fucking place. Uh, where are you off to? Yeah. Okay, try the one in front of the fitness uh, mm -hmm. nineteen. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that one. Yeah. That nail place? That's usually open twenty four seven. We gonna watch Fallout today? Yeah. 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 Yeah, this one kind of shows it. Like, bro. Like, like this shit right here. Bro, there's literally 10 seconds left. He just points to the middle of the mat. He points to the middle of the mat right here. Let's go. And they just start swinging, swinging, swinging. Go, go, go. And then he just... There it is. Boom. Bro. That's dangerous, bro. I'm sorry, but if I, were, if I already knew that I had that shit lost... And I was, what was his name? Jeeth or Heath? I forgot his name. I would have been like, nah, dude, fuck that whole fight here in the middle shit. I would have been like, nah, dude, I'm good. You won already. You can take it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah Gay, Gay, Gaith, Geeth? I don't know how you say his last name. Gaithy? Gaithy? There you go. Anyone have the wireless scimitar? Uh, I do. Isn't that taunting? I don't think so. I think he was just saying, hey, right now, let's go. Middle of the ring. All out. Fuck it. I just, I, I know, uh, what's his name has done it before. I just didn't think the other dude was going to do it, knowing he already fucking lost a match. Like, why risk, you know, a fucking brain concussion shit or like a brain damage for that, you know? Gaith G is how it sounds to pronounce. Goat goat teeth. What? Goat teeth. <laughs> the fuck? Okay. Oh, there you go. Well, Veil's almost gonna pop if we get one more healer and one more DPS. Maybe. Oh. Well, technically that's not for Veil. That's for all of them, right? So it's automatically gonna pick the first one in line. I'm gonna try one more time just to queue for Veil. I feel like more people are hitting 60 anyway.
Do I like the wireless Corsair? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, IQ has improved over the years for sure. Although yesterday's window or this past weekend's windows update fucked something up for me. Apparently only me. Nobody else. Yeah, dude, it's like, I don't know, man. I mean, maybe he, he didn't want to be known as, you know, being called a pussy for not trying to fucking just randomly flail swing for 10 seconds. But damn, bro, I would have been like, look, man, you already got this one. At this point, you just showboat and I'm, I'm good. Ten I, I just walked to my corner and be like, I'm good. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. 10 seconds. I'm, just leave me alone. Imagine, you, you know, you, you're, you're in pretty decent health going into the last round. And this motherfucker says, let's just start swinging. And then he gets knocked out. Dude, he buckled, bro. I mean, he was knocked out cold, wasn't he? Pretty sure that dude was unconscious for like a minute and a half or something like that. Justin's no bitch. He'd never do that. No, at that point, I'm thinking about brain damage more than I'm thinking about whether I'm a bitch or not. Apparently, Conor McGregor is going to be in a card in a couple of months. Conor versus Chandler. Is it Chandler? Collier? No. I forgot who it was. Yeah, this is Brewmaster with Explode. Oh, that's Thundering Orb. Ooh, Thundering Orb would be nice for this. Yeah, 303. Oh, by the way, I finally saw Roadhouse. I regret it instantly. <laughs> I regretted it instantly, bro. Eh, eh, eh. That's not working. One seventy one still. Still hasn't gone up a single bit. Unfortunately. Well, I mean, I kinda didn't want to watch it at all because I'm like, you know, Roadhouse is one of my my top it's probably a top seven movies of all time. That's a movie I can watch over and over again. Kinda like kinda like, you know, Days of Thunder or Matrix, you know, or Scarface or whatever. Oh man, what a I I I'll I'll tell you this though. Like uh, Jake Gyllenhaal did a pretty he, he did a good job like I think he, he had like this this funny kind of like sarcastic humor to him you know that kind of made it like enjoyable but I mean dude Conor McGregor bro my god <laughs> He, 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 he just over the top, man. It was a little over the top, like. A, a little over the top. I, I guess for his first like real acting gig, it was like, okay. I think they just made him play like the fucking psycho, uh, like the Irish psycho, a little, a little too. He, he was a little too much into it. <laughs> what, what was up with that waddling he did, bro? Oh my god, the waddle! I don't get it. Why did he move like that? It was so frustrating to see him just walk around. He broke his leg. He sure walked like it.
See, I don't remember missing EXP. That's why I don't know why I have these in my inventory, bro. It's so fucking weird. I don't know. I feel like I didn't miss anything. Thank you, Darren, for the 126. You know what? I'm actually surprised that Conor McGregor has not done WWE shit. Seems like he it seems like he's like built for that shit, bro. Well, you don't get the experience token from um, the trash. It comes directly from bosses. Like, it even says it right here. Like, additional experience granted for defeating a raid boss. I, mean, maybe, I don't know. Maybe during today's stream, I spaced out on some of the bosses and I just didn't loot it or something. Could be. I just feel like, I feel like I'm always looking at my bar experience bar whenever I'm doing this shit. Oh, well, yeah, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal during the interviews for Roadhouse said that fucking there was times where Connor actually hurt his ass. Like, like Connor got into it too much and he was like actually wailing on people and shit. My man got issues, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my, my dude got issues. Holy fucking damage. Yeah, dude, exploding keg. Yeah, I don't know how he's doing that. I've noticed that too with Brewmasters. They're, they're exploding keg is just like, it's got to be like a bugged out ability. Like, how many casts of that shit is he actually pumping out? One. That's just one cast. What? The fuck? Okay. <laughs> okay. Weird. But it ain't no tea. Take your trinkets. Isn't the uh, Mike Tyson Logan Paul thing coming up pretty cool pretty quick? Or Jake Paul, whatever the fuck it is? That's coming up, right? Oh, it's 10th of July. Oh, shit. All right, that's far off. Dude, I, I kind of want to see what shape Tyson's going to be in when it's all said and done. He, I mean, he's been training pretty hard. I, I, they just showed a video of him yesterday just changing his shirt. I'm like, yo. I'm like, fucking Tyson got like a, like a four-pack rolling right now. Like, what the fuck? What year is it? You know? Like, what fucking year is it? there let me see I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay in the veil of eternal blossoms he's training in arizona with the lead singer of tool oh is that who it is yeah man i don't know but he 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 looks pretty pretty fucking he looks jacked up, man. Like, I don't know. Obviously, you, you, you'll never be, you know, prime token Tyson. But, I mean, you know, if, if you're almost 50 years old, how old is he? 50? Isn't he 50? And he's, like, almost rocking a fucking six-pack. And he's getting cuts in his arms. And his shoulders are all fucking flared out. I'm like, bro. Do, 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 do they even steroid test for these boxing matches? 58? Yeah.
Yeah, dude. It's like, I, like you don't see 58 year old former boxers in that kind of shape moving that fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, I mean, look at him, bro. Like, his frame is fucking freakish, and he's like 58? It's fucking nuts. Oh yeah, I, that's what I said. I, I said to myself, bro, if he doesn't if he doesn't beat Jake Paul by round three, he'll lose. Like he'll get gassed out pretty quick. That's just natural. That's why I, I mean, you, you look at the Roy Jones Jr. exhibition he did, where he was only going like fifty percent. I mean, he, yo, he was rocking. Like Roy Jones Jr. said after that match, that wasn't even like fit Mike Tyson, and his body punches were like left him bruised for weeks. Is this more fun than Plunderstorm? Well, yeah. I mean, it's PVE for us fucking PVEers. For sure. I see you got PVPers asking, does, 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 what, does MOP Remix have PVP? I was like, no, shut up. It doesn't. Nobody cares. <laughs> Is there going to be arenas? Like all five people asking, you know, the little PVP and wow. Like I said, man, I don't know. It, it depends what the rules of that thing are. If it's a if it's a fight, fight, I think Tyson will fuck him up. If it's like supposed to be like another Roy Jones Jr. like exhibition, like you know, you're not you're not here to hurt somebody kind of shit, then it'll be like whatever. I mean, outside of uh, Fury, this is probably like this is probably like the hardest fight he's gonna have. Tyson's hands are still registered weapons. But yeah, by, by round three, Tyson will run out of steam, and he'll end up losing if it goes like the distance. How, how many rounds are those fights? Pretty, uh, is it full? No, like, like like how many rounds? Not how long per round. Like how many rounds is it total? Eight. Yeah, dude. By by round three, Tyson's got to end it. Like I said, bro, it, the Roy Jones Jr. exhibition, he was gassed, bro. Well, they were both gassed because they're both older, but he was gassed as fuck. I don't know, man. Like I said, Mike, Mike, Mike looking fucking good. Mike looking good. For 58, he's looking good. How old is, how old is Jake Paul? 28? He got like 30 years on Mike. Mike is still fucking him up, probably. But yeah, I mean, it'll be a huge payday for Mike. I, I think Mike will make more money in, in this one fight than he's probably made in like the last like 20 years of just being around. And the, and the fact that it's going to be, like, on Netflix? My God. Imagine, you know how many people are going to be watching that shit around the world, bro? On fucking Netflix? Good Lord. It might be, like, one of the most watched boxing matches in a long fucking time. Maybe. I don't know. It's, it's not even, like, real. I mean, it's real, but it's not like, you know... It's not like a Triple G versus Canelo kind of thing, you know? Like, that's a real boxing match, right? I, 
I, I just want Jake Paul to keep calling out Canelo after every fucking fight he has, just so I can see Canelo one day just say, "Okay, let's go," and I, just so I can see, just so I can see like Jake like shard himself momentarily <laughs> for like a split second. You, you, you just watch his shorts with a little burst of air come out of his shorts as he shits himself. I mean, bro, Canelo and Jake aren't even in the same weight class, right? Like, they're like, what, 30 pounds apart, 40 pounds apart? But I still think Canelo would fuck him up. Like, Canelo would fuck him up. <laughs> like, you, like, that's a real boxer. That's like a modern day real boxer. Canelo's 185. Jake's 200, so that's not bad. Well, recent. Well, as of for the fight, they say he's going to be at two hundred. What's the wingspan difference? I don't think it matters. Look at Mike Tyson and Jake. First, I think Mike's going to tear up Jake's body. I think he's going to tear up his fucking abs and his ribs and shit. I think that's how he wins. You have to think about it. Outside of, um, man, what, what's Fury's first name? Because it's Tyson Fury's brother that fought, that beat Jake, right? That's his only loss. What was his name? Something Fury? I don't even think he's that good either. Um, Tommy? Is it Tommy Fury? Yeah, Tommy Fury. Like, that's probably, like, the hardest punches Jake took. And, and I'm, I mean, I'm not going to say Mike Tyson can punch harder than Tommy Fury, but I, I think he can. Now, just imagine, like, Mike Tyson going all out with his punches for three straight rounds. That's going to, man, that's going to hurt, bro. I don't think he's going to have, I, I don't think he's ever going to take a hit like that. Neil deGrasse Tyson Fury. <laughs> Make you see the stars, baby. Send, send, send your ass to Apothis. Come on, man. I'm going to give this like five more minutes. I just want to see SOO. Ty Tyrone damn near knocked him on knocked him out on accident. Who? Who? So I'm saying go find it. I'm looking for the Is this, is this the video? I'm trying to find an accurate video. I think this was just showing Mike Tyson, like how he's fucking like ripped right now. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one right here. Yeah, dude. I mean. Bro. Bro, stop it. How are you 58 looking like that, dude? Like, bro. <laughs> like, you know what's crazy is that now he's training with, like, today's technological advances. You know? Like, all those, like, little pumping electric, like, electric shock machines and shit that, like, fucking pump up your abs and shit.
fucking scary is what it is, bro. If you work out every single day of your entire life, then most 50-year-olds could probably look like that. That's the thing, though. Mike hasn't. I mean, dude, I mean, if you saw pictures of Mike maybe like 10 years ago, there was a point where for like a nice little 10, 15-year stretch, Mike let, Mike let himself fucking go, like hard. Like he looked like a big round Teletubby for a while there. Yeah, he, 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 was, he was a big boy for, for a minute. It wasn't until recent that he just started to kind of taking care of himself and shit. Yeah, I'm not getting into a fucking queue for this goddamn raid. He was fat. He was husky for sure. He was big boned, pleasantly plump, you know. He was a bigums. He's in a multiple podcast. He didn't want to start out again because it would reignite his ego. He's crazy. I mean, I, I would think like psychologically, he, he's crazy. You know, like he's a dangerous guy, right? I mean, can we at least agree on that? Mike Tyson's like a, a dangerous individual. Like when he gets, when he, when he snaps into that mode, like he wants to hurt somebody, he going to hurt somebody. Like that's plain and simple. I mean, the man's bitten off other motherfuckers' ears. You know, like, come on. Yeah, like, that man has a dark side. Like, he snaps into his, like, he snaps into, like, his Sith mode or whatever. <laughs> And and now Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson both have a, a a a line of fucking weed gummies in the shape of ears. So at least now they make a joke out of it together. That's pretty funny. They have like weed edibles that are like ear shaped. Uh, Remix goes live probably in a month or so. We don't know. We'll probably just have to wait until we get the ten two seven release date soon ish. Probably after probably after Cata releases. I'll make a joke at my own expense for millions of dollars. I bet the Vander still hates his ass. Probably. Probably. So end of May, early June. Probably mid June. Yeah, I mean, I, said, I think when it goes live, I mean, I think most of the people that just play on the first day are going to be really close to 70. Everyone will be buying mounts pretty fast, pretty quick. Moody Vanessa, thank you for the two years. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, man. Fucking Wayfinder's not looking good right now, huh? Yeah. Well, it looks like people are uh, w w going a... Uh, doing a good amount here. Everyone's getting kind of getting hy alpha hyped up on the forums. Give me Mogushan again. Someone says Midnight will be the biggest WoW expansion in WoW history. Okay. <laughs> That's a hot take. Wee. The ancient vaults of the Mogu 
I got 905 stamina now. I definitely don't have that much. I have 774. Yeah, 30 million damage. That's whatever. Yeah, no big deal. I don't know. Fucking Demon Hunter just popped his wad. Yeah, just, you know. Usually somebody's brittle is the one that does it, you know? So, so, somebody's fucking brittle. I'm so weirded out that people leave after a boss. I don't know why they do that. It's so fucking awkward. Like, why would you leave after a boss when there's still, like, two more bosses? No big pumper. Dude. King 30 million damage. 70 the goal of every expansion? To be the best one ever? Sure, but I mean, you know, I don't know. I, I can't see Midnight, you know, being better. I mean, systematically, it's it, it just gets harder and harder every expansion to give people new systems, you know? Eventually, the only way to make WoW different is to do what you were doing in BFA, which nobody wants because they don't have the time for it. Which is create, like, new, weird, non-evergreen systems that go from patch to patch. Yeah, borrowed power, I guess, you know. I mean, to be fair, look, I mean, I, th I think the next expansion is going to be lit because it's going to be great for casuals and it's going to be no different than... Um, it's going to be no different than, whatchamacallit, uh, Dragonflight in terms of patch cadence. But I mean, you know, outside of like Delves and Warbands... And the hero talent system. That's up, man. That's pretty much the newest shit we're going to get. I mean, we might get some cool stuff in between. You know, like the forbidden area was pretty cool with the little vault with all the abilities and shit. You know, the temporary gems and rings or whatever. Like, stuff like that will make it. But I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I still have to, you know, wrap, you know, you still have to wrap your mind around the fact that this is a 20, about to turn 20 year old MMORPG. Eventually, you just run out of ideas. You know, the, the the biggest button they could hit is the housing bu button, you know? Like, that that would be like, oh, my God, housing and wow. Even though I don't, I could care less for it. But, I mean, you know, that would probably be, like, the big thing they could do in Midnight. Or, or a different way to level through, like, the old zones of wow, you know? P people are still holding on to the whole, like, Azeroth revamp thing, but... Realistically, they're kind of slowly revamping it as the expansions go on. Let's see, Prot Warrior with Wildfire Dot rocking that shit. Okay. Sure, sure, yeah. Story, world content. Yeah, but I mean, like, how much different can you do world content than they do it right now, right? I'm just, I, I, I always just have a, I just try to have a more realistic take, you know, because I just know that with 20 years under your belt, it will just get harder and harder and harder to do something that someone will say, oh, that's unique, you know? Dang. the accursed was betrayed by four emperors of the Mogul. His body destroyed each time only to rise again. They should revamp all the old zones and make them story event in all different zones that can change. Yeah, that's a lot of work. But at the end of the day, though, what are you really doing? You're still just doing the same zone you've done before a bunch of times. It's just revamped. Right? That, that That's still nothing new. Shit. All 
Oh, yeah, new planets and new zones and new mobs and new quests. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, everyone who keeps asking, oh, I hope they revamp the old world. I'm like, I guess. But I'm just like, I don't know. To me, that doesn't seem like it's going to be anything really new and exciting. I guess you revamp it. They look looks a little different. You know? Like I said, I just I'm just being realistic. I, I try not to live in La La Land when it comes to like the future of the game. I want faction lore. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Me too, bro. But you know what? I don't think people give a shit about the faction stuff as much anymore. Well, Blizzard would never do anything in Unreal Engine 5 because they're in-house engines. The only engine they would ever update to is one that they make on their own. That that's been said dur even during their BlizzCon engineering panels. Like they they don't they don't use any other engine outside of their own. Once again, an another kind of like unrealistic take. Boss is getting obliterated. Well, Mal is second on DPS there for a fucking hot minute. Is something an MOP going to play into the World Soul Saga? No, not at all. There's a little like a Turnus thing going on, but that's just, you know, the infinite dragon flight just making you see what happened over the years. I, I love hearing everyone dinging like ding, 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 ding. Is Brewmaster busted or what? Everyone's busted, bro. At this point, I don't even think they know why they're busted. No, uh, you don't get a trinket till 70, I don't think. But yeah, I mean, you, you can definitely overhaul reward structures on certain parts of the game. But I mean, who's really leveling that way anymore you see what i'm saying like i don't know like st still to me that's nothing new if we're talking about like new new shit it's like that's hard to do london tomorrow no i ain't going to no fucking london i'll be right here at home hanging out having a good time you finished the main remix quest line uh no i don't even know where it continues is there like uh Pink quest somewhere that I missed. I mean, everywhere there's quests. No. Yeah, I don't fly, bro. Has a little break until Wednesday, so he's ready for the alpha. I mean, it could be Wednesday, it could be Tuesday, it could be Monday, it could be Thursday, it could be Friday. But yeah, ideally, yeah. Why not take a little break before shit gets crazy, huh? You're not going to be with Holly and others? Nope. It depends who the others are. Are there any American people going to London? Like, is Max going to London? Guys like me and Max don't go nowhere. We like to stay right here in our own computer room, 
in the comfort of our own home where it's nice and safe and and we have easy access to everything we need. I think Max said he has to go. What? No one has to go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you have to go anywhere, bro. Oh, work obligation. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was that? I just got that was purple. Oh, infinite thread of mastery. Oh, it's nothing for this, though. Dude, I've been at 171 for fucking ever, bro. Good God, man. You don't get past experience pens for 665. Really? Ain't that some shit? Bro, these guys are getting fucking. These guys are melting, bro. Good lord. See, that makes more sense to me now. Max pending summon from Holly. Still, still 54,000 experience. It's not bad. No, the waters. I must resist. New pieces. Yep, that's one. Yep, that's two. Yeah. Yeah, for me, all I know is for any game, whether it's like uh, alpha or beta week for any game that I play, bro, I never leave the house. I don't care how much they pay me, how much they invite me. I, I never, for, for anything that's for anything that, that that's like special to me like that, I can never not be at my computer desk. Like, it, feel, it just feels, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? It feels like you're lost when you're not in your own element during major events, you know? It's like, you know, when they did, like, the whole, like, Vegas classic launch thing. It's like people went over there to do it, and I'm like, I can't do that kind of shit. I got to be here. Open, 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 open. I'm going to take so long. I was like here first too. Like what the fuck? Maybe this is where I lost my shit originally. Like I still haven't gotten my stuff yet. Like the fuck? It's still in combat. With what? These fuckers over here? Why am I in combat? I don't know. Maybe there's something. Maybe there's like something going on somewhere. Can't open loot. Me neither. Maybe, maybe this was it, bro. There we go. Ah, that that's probably what it was. I just didn't loot it. I had to loot it twice and I looted it once before. Oh, shit. 
Blue shoulders? Damn. Damn. Damn, damn, No, a shot of fear takes probably like three minutes to kill, two minutes. Should be pretty fast. Yeah, there's no mechanics you have to follow here. Like, we were told that they haven't even really tuned normal mode or any of the heroics yet. That's why they're only kind of testing 10-man content, just to kind of feel out where it's at. Leveling doesn't seem as fast as regular leveling. Uh, depends how fast you level regularly. I mean, 10 to 70 on retail depends how you level, you know? Damn. Oh, is that a ring? Oh, it said Waste Guard of Resounding Rings. I got, I got trolled, bro. I got fucking trolled, dude. Wow, that's a huge upgrade too, like stat wise. Uh, I only have 171 experience on my cloak. I think it's because someone said in chat after 65, your cloak just stops. Dark Animus, bro. Nobody wants Dark Animus. <laughs> Is Shaw still a 20 minute fight? He's literally at 56 percent. Holy shit, I almost died. Step out of the fucking middle and let somebody else take that shit. Oh my god, we're feared, we're feared, we're feared, we're feared, we're feared. Is trading removed or just the auction house? Just the auction house. But I mean, you have nothing to trade, though. That's the thing. Like, what? It, even if you could trade, what will you trade to somebody else? I don't think there is anything you would want to trade. Fucking obliterated. He got fucking obliterated. Thought you could trade powers. Can you? 
They say soul bound to me. I haven't even worn some of them. Let me see. So I definitely haven't worn this one. No, nope, they're all soul bound. Wait, THC, wh which rings can I get from uh from retail? Exactly. Like heirloom shit? You know how you on live you can buy rings from the auction house? You can just copy character and mail it. Oh, okay. So you're telling me I can just... Okay, so you're telling me go right now on the auction house on live, buy 480 rings and necks, and then copy that character to here and then mail it to this character? I feel like that's going to get fixed. Fuck it. Hold on. <laughs> Let me try that shit out, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Can I put triple sockets on the neck and then send that shit over? <laughs> what? The sweater's finding a way to sweat. Bro, that's not even sweat. That's like fucking your, your body's a monsoon. A walking monsoon, bro. Hold on. Oh, we're going to try this shit. And, and what kind of slots do those act as when you give it to your character on MOP? Does it act like a fucking... Like a regular prismatic or, or or a tinker or what? The gem slots, okay. But I mean, just the item level itself would be absurd, is isn't it? Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh, it's just Mogu. Fuck it. Yeah, but you can't trade those engineering trinkets from Nomergon or whatever, or Nomaragon. Like the one with the fucking laser beam shit? Yeah, if I could trade that, that'd be awesome. I, I always keep that around on a PTR. I use that on fucking testing bosses for, for fucking new raids. It's so busted. Oh, shit. It's not like letting me... Oh, there we go. Oh, let me let me see what you're talking about here. All right, so we're talking about what? So any of these necks you're saying, like let's say this one, Nipping Knight's necklace, this right here. Four, 421 is that good 421 I don't think it fucking matters yeah fuck it okay so can I add the sockets to the neck and it, it won't make it um it won't make it like what is it like uh soul bound right let's get like two rings All right, here's one with a prismatic socket. And then I got to get a different kind, right, for another. No, that's the same kind of socket. Oh, this one. Oh, oh wait, that one doesn't have a, a socket on it, though. Unforge. Wait, that's weird. It said it doesn't have a socket, but it's supposed to have a socket, isn't it? I thought. Hold on, 
me see something. If you find anything exotic, bring it to me. Yeah, see that didn't yeah, that th these didn't even have it, bro. Fuck me. Yeah, this didn't have the socket on it. Well, the neck I can put the sockets on it. That's what I'm asking. If I buy the medallions for the neck and I add the sockets, is it still a BOE neck? Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at All right, so I, I, I got to find one with an actual socket. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, there's one. 10K? How much gold do I have? 1.7 million. That's a lot of gold. Let me tell you. A lot of fucking gold. What about the bigger ones? How much do the bigger ones scale? Hey, here we go. This one has one. Okay. So that one definitely has one. If you find anything exotic, bring it. There we go. Shit, now I gotta buy like the little medallion pieces though. Let me, oh, I, I, gotta get, I gotta get one more ring. What was that one called? Uh, Orchard Field. Oh, like, like these right here. This one, I don't care. Give me, give me a deep rock ring. Give me a fucking. I'm just trying to find a second one, bro. Oh, here we go. Yeah, fine, whatever. Give, 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 give me that shit. Like I care how much. All right, cool. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Uh. Damn, tier medallions are cheap nowadays, huh? If you find anything exotic, bring it. All right, so now we're just gonna add this to this. Let's see, but it says this action will bind it to you. But I, I guess I could just send this to all together to the character. All right, so now I got it on my tune. Now we get out of here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. No, no, Tally, don't. I got you. Log out of here. Recopy, copy over Tally, and then mail this fucker. That shit. Not gonna lie, it's pretty sweaty. It's pretty sweaty. It's extremely sweaty. And I'm here for it, you know? Yeah, it's PTR for testing. Yeah, we're here to find the exploits, you know, and, you know, tell Blizzard, hey, fix this shit. Ban from all future alphas and betas. Too late. What the fuck? Anyway. Uh, send mail to, uh, let's see, Tau the tank. Now we're just going to give him all this shit. Omasu used the Corsair Scimitar Wireless, their newest one. I'm amazed that the top players are even reporting this since they kind of want to make it to 71st, etc. Nah, bro. People always have that misconception that, like, World First Raiders keep secrets. Some do. Some do. But m most report shit. Because it'll get out there anyway, because they stream. You know? Bro, see, you get, see, like, 
I've looted everything, and I still get this shit. Anyway. You must reach level 70. Oh, I do have to hit 70, though. All right, so we do have to hit 70 before I can use that. Unfortunate. I, I didn't realize that until that just happened. At that point, I should have just set myself lower level ones with sockets. Yeah, I don't get this shit. Why I keep getting the XP? Can't consume it. Can't do anything with it. It's kind of annoying, actually. Just keep showing up on my shit. Yeah, I, I've made sure that I have looted every single thing that, that I've touched. But I think I do have upgrades. Yep. Definitely these two. Yeah, dude, I, like, that's what I was saying. TSC, I thought like I thought I was going crazy. I thought I was going crazy, bro. I was like, yo, I know for a fact I've looted every fucking boss. I've looted every time, every time. Oh, this one has an extra socket. Oh shit. Uh what, what are we gonna put in there? What are we gonna put in there, yo? Maybe, maybe go back to Meteor Storm? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know anymore, bro. There's some... Oh, Wildfire. Here we go, Wildfire. I don't even know why that wasn't there to begin with. We need to make a fucking add-on to put all this shit back in your inventory properly. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Did I just get three of something? Oh, here we go. Axe of Iron Might I send enchants over to. What's that? 248. Wafting Devotion. Ha! <laughs> enchants. Oh, you... Yeah, I forgot about that shit. Now, now, now you're just being extremely sweaty. You know, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, now, now you're seeping in sweat, dude. Sent over, yeah. Fucking Sophic Devotion and shit, you know? That's beautiful. That is beautiful. You sweaty sons of bitches. I mean, are you sending over, like, cloak enchants and all that shit, too? Like, damn, dude. I mean, at this point, why not, right? Like, fuck it. Fuck it all. I might just do that. Yeah, man, do cloak, rings. Like, like, why stop at just a, a weapon enchant? Dude, put on the cloak enchant with the strength on it. That one must fucking scale. What about BOE trinkets? Yeah, the damage ones should probably work. You get heirlooms? I think so. Do you transmog in the MLP remix? Yeah, there's a transmog vendor. It's the Torin lady.
And unfortunately, this shit's over by tonight, and my ass has got, has got to be gone in like an hour. So I'm hopefully I can get a couple lucky cues and get the 70. Okay, and that's just usually a transmog mount? Probably. Yeah, sure. Hey, your auction house bound too. Well, technically, there is no auction house, so unfortunate. I don't know. Like at this rate, you know they're going to fix it. So it's like no use even kind of trying. But I guess just to be sweaty and like top meters and I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how Brewmasters are using Exploding Keg Smash and getting like 47 million damage. Like I, like I have no idea how the fuck that's even happening, bro. That shit just seems broke as fuck. Abilities that proc other stuff are broken. Uh, like which ones? That was close. That was close, Chen Storm Stout. That was fucking close, bro. I don't know. I don't know, dude. That's a close one. Don't have to think about that. My class stinks. I haven't found anything else to abuse. Me neither. I haven't found anything that can possibly proc. I was thinking of maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't. I, I, as a paladin, you don't have much that can proc something else. I was thinking maybe Tears Enforcer. If I had my four-piece set from Consecrate uh, with the Cleansing Fire, that might be doing something, but you can't actually use that, so... These warriors right now just exploding barrage, Arcanist Edge. Right now for me, Arcanist Edge, Ward of Salvation. Yeah, right now it feels like I don't know if you've seen Feral Druid CHD. We had a Feral Druid who had like 80 million damage on this fight. Like his rip and his tear open fucking abilities literally did like 80% of his damage. And then rip was like 1%. Like dots and shit that proc other stuff. I'm assuming Fury Warriors are probably having their deep wounds and their rends and shit procking tons of crap. Even early yesterday, there was like a Resto Shaman who had the most damage in the raid, just casting Lightning Bolt. Oh, man, did somebody use that fucking item? Did somebody use that fucking item, bro? The one that I was using to kill people. Someone probably used that shit. People out here are trolling, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's like karma, because I killed like a bunch of fucking people using that shit. Like 100%. The item is so grief. They'll fix that one too, for sure. 
It's, it's not even working properly. It's supposed to give everyone in a 40-yard radius 1 HP. So unless my bars are not showing it, there should be way more than just one or two dead people from that. Oh, it just does my party? Okay, get me out of this fucking party, bro. This guy's trolling. I like how the other stats keep increasing, though. Like, my experience hasn't been touched, but all my other stats keep going up as I loot shit. Dude, I'm, I'm hoping, and I know it's a big copium, but I'm hoping that this cloak gets converted to, like, an account-bound like live item that you can use at the end of every expansion. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, like it turns into like an heirloom cloak. Where retail service your hammer guild in? Oh, we have, we have a small one on Illidan, but it's not really being used for anything. It's just there, though. Maybe in August or July, we'll use... Motherfucker. It's one of these two fucks, for sure. It's one of these two fucks. Precipice of Madness. Yeah, man. See what I'm saying, bro? It's the guy who resed me. That's who it is. It's the guy who fucking rezzed me. Yeah, imagine having a 300% EXP cloak. I mean, th th that would just kind of like make everything else useless in the game, honestly. <laughs> that would make every other heirloom just so useless. So I'm not exactly sure how, how great that would be. No, 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 not both the mysteries. More cues, more cues. Oh no, you, you can have different people with different levels in LFR because you, you get access to the first LFR at level 25. Well, your cloak is not going to be that amped up yet, though, right? So. But this one was saying if, if you start a second character, then you get the cloak that you have on the first character. Is that right? Or something like that? Or you start fresh on another character and it just adds to your cloak on your original character? Something along those lines. Wait, where's THD? I gotta see this shit. Hey, he's not letting me inspect you. That's weird. Maybe inspecting is not allowed. Come on, I wanna see how sweaty this man is. Fuck it, fuck it, whatever. We don't know. We don't know if LFR being queuable over and over again is just a PTR thing or if it's just, you know, it's going to happen that way. I mean, whether it is or it isn't, I don't know. I mean, whatever, really, you know. Word of glory, if you have your absorb bubble on and the healers are overhealing when the bubble pops, it does a lot of damage. Wait, which which what's wh wait, which one is that one? You said the overhealing one? What's it called? I think I'm actually Hold on. I know which one you're talking about. Uh 
Oh, this one. Warmth? Well, that, 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 that does no damage, though. That just heals everybody. I don't know. With a version like this of WoW, I don't think it really matters whether LFR is unlimited or limited. It should just be unlimited, really. It's a meta gem. Oh. Is it Black Ox? Can't be Life Storm. Can't be. I mean, it could be Black Ox. I'm not going to shroud my fucking party and kill him. I mean, I have every single one. If you just give me the name, I could find it. There's a Locus of Power. That's not it either. Oh, I have that already. Yeah, I have Ward of Salvation. Yeah. So what do I do? I just keep popping Ward of Glory while that's active? Is that what you're saying? We can give it the old college go. Was that happening the next week? Do we think? I mean, we should. It should happen according to the roadmap for sure. If the roadmap is right, then we get Alpha this coming week a hundred percent. What day? I don't know. You know? Bubble with that and tell the healers to overheal you. I mean, I'm, I am I just don't have to actively tank. Daydreamers glimmering shark. Fucking hell, bro. That's your ring? Good lord. And you bought the fucking 483 one, too. Good. Got 3,100 stamina. Have mercy. Have mercy. What if I just, like, start the fight, pop ward wings, lay on hands myself, and just spam fucking word of glory in that time frame? I think I'll pop it pretty, pretty. I think it'll pop pretty well. That's been, look, man, it's THD is, is another level of grind. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not, I don't even know why I'm surprised. Pally of hell with the five years. Thank you, bro. The ancient we, 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 we. What the fuck just happened? I didn't I didn't even have a chance to ramp, bro. What the fuck was that? That was that, that's like the fastest I've seen that shit go down. Oh, brittle thundering orb. Brittle arcane orb. Oh, there's that Oh, that's the druid. I think that it wasn't that the druid that was in the group with us. Nerf monks. I don't think anyone's going to complain about fucking balancing in this bullshit, okay? There, there's no way, man. I mean, some will, but I, I, Blizzard should not pay attention to these people, for sure. We have disturbed what you under your soul's waters. These are your Oh my god. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that feral druid. Tear open wounds and tear, bro. Oh my god, this boss is fucking melting. <laughs> he didn't even make it to the second area, dog. Oh my lord. Didn't even make it to the second fucking area. What did I do there? Yeah, Ward had about almost half a million. Arcanist Edge, though. That's the one that's pumping for me, dude. Every fight. Hey, you consume 20% of your active absorb shield to inflict arcane damage equal to the amount consumed. Yeah, this group is kind of cracked out right now. That's what I'm saying, though. I mean, like, people are saying, oh, I, I don't want to be wiping on heroic bosses doing this fucking version of WoW. I'm like, bro, if everyone's level 70 and everyone has 21 different powers like that popping off, I can't see people wiping that much. You might even see some fuckers trying to solo this shit, man. Like, you know? Big absorb, big damage. Yo, I need a Mistweaver to give me fuck. Yeah, I was to say. Yo, I need a Mist Mistweaver to give me Cocoon at the start of the fight, dude. I, I need some Cocoon action. So long is what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. M maybe? I still think the damage intake is going to be too high. Oh, come on. What was that? The fuck was that? 140,000 melee attack? Like, how? Yo, THD, res me, bro. Okay, he's fucking dead already. What the fuck? How, fu how long was that fight? Thanks, THD. How long was that fucking encounter? Like, <laughs> just the fastest I've seen that shit go down. Mythic Raider, by the way. Bro, he auto-swinged me and globaled me, bro. Dude, I'm just going to bubble at the start of every fucking encounter, dude. I'm just going to bubble. Fuck that, man. I am bubbling. That's new. That's new. I'm just going to Michael fucking Bubele at the beginning of that shit. That's new feet. I do good damage to my classes and have those broken interactions. Yeah, man, look at this feral druid, bro. Tear open wounds. 70% of his damage, 38 million. And what did that fight last? Like 15 seconds? I think, it, like, how much health does the boss have? Total. Let me see. What's the is there a total at the bottom here? Whatever it was, it was a, it was a lot. Hey, THD did the most healing, though, bro. Did the most healing. That's good. That's a plus, you know? I mean, it, it, this also could be in a good avenue to solo content too, right? Like a lot of people always want to solo shit. So this remix could be a way for you to like power yourself up like really fucking good and then be able to like do old raids and just like, I don't know, fucking solo mythic SOO or something, you know? Well, my cape has been the same for a while. I mean, my my your experience doesn't go up after a certain level, but all my other stats are continuously increasing. Like every time you loot one of those like purple items off the boss, that's like always giving you time runners advantage items.
When could you not solo Mythic SOO? Well, I mean, like, with the tuning of how they have this expansion. And you could transfer your class out to a real server after a remix? Yes. I don't know what that process is like. I'm assuming... I'm, I'm just going to assume whatever server you're currently on with that character, after after the time... After the remix is over, it'll just show up on your server, right? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's just the way it works. But probably without any of the socketed shit working. Although that'd be really awesome if you could keep all your powers. How, how broken would Season 4 be? bro with all these powers just go into a week your, your weekly awakened fucking uh vault of the incarnates and just like global razageth in like two seconds that's yeah season four one shot meta have all the orange parsers fucking crying in a corner in a fetal position rocking and like <laughs> i can't parse my orange racer roll first would be 30 minutes I don't think there is a race roll first when this shit goes down. I guess there would be a mini one. Not really people care. What's weird is that this is like a faded season, but it's not, right? I feel like we, we need to give it a different name. Because this time it's called Awakened Raids, but there's no abilities, right? Didn't they say that? That the raids have no extra ability to do shit from? Look out of here. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of dumb. Like, at least, you know, you had, like, the cool orbs and shit during Faded and all. Yeah, you know, like, they haven't announced that yet. No, way. I thought they confirmed that it wasn't going to. Right, THC, didn't they confirm that we weren't going to get something? I thought it was a confirmation. Hey, Phil, I'm doing good. Thanks. Maybe, maybe I was just reading shit wrong. I don't know. Uh, Nasty Harry with one forty nine. Appreciate it, man. You watch the Beavis and Butthead sketch yet? Yeah, I saw it. That's it pretty good. Go SNL. A pretty good one. Between that, OJ, no doubt, at Coachella, we back, baby. <laughs> What's taking so long all of a sudden? Come on. Let me change my transmog back to my shit. At least you can look cool temporarily. I don't watch much of SNL anymore. I don't know. T 
Table in front of you has a free buff food. What, this? Oh. Fresh bread. It just says fresh bread. Not even buff food, it's just... Oh, it is buff food. What's it give you? It just says you feel warm and toasty after eating that fresh bread. One shot. One shot mechanic. Some warmth and some tasty carbs. Amen. All right, it's going to be my last one. It's unfortunate that this is going to be over tonight, but I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like, you know, they want. I think the reason why this is limited PTR for this is because they don't want to give people a chance to experience everything in three days or a week or two weeks. And then they don't want to do it when it goes live so that no one resubs for it. Then we got to say congratulations, by the way, for. How much bronze do you have so far? Um, well, I have 6,000, but I spent 22K, so I, I would be at around almost 30,000 right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. I'm, it is a Yankee game today. What time do those junkies play? Oh, Yankees are already up 4-2. They're already playing. It was an early game today, shit. Oh, Aaron motherfucking Judge with a home run. There you go. That man, needs, that man needs to get hot, bro. Fucking Soto's two for three already. Yo, Soto's crazy, bro. If we don't re-sign his ass, bro. If we don't re-sign his ass. Let me tell you. We dumb as shit. I have, all, I have every Pandaria mount. Oh, you've never seen the Yankee roll call, bro? To be fair, it's actually more timid now than it used to be. N yeah, nothing beats the original fucking bleacher creatures. Dang. Oh, I'm trying to watch this home run. Damn, he fucking launched that shit. My God, that had to be at least 400 and like 40 feet. Good Lord. Yeah, roll call, they do that every single game. The old school bleacher creatures in the stands. I used to sit there all the time with those dudes. These used to be the bleacher creatures of section 56? 50 something? I forgot what. 156? I forgot the number. What is this guy doing all the damage now? Searing light. It's a hunter. Wait, are the Yankees at Toronto or are they home against the Blue Jays? Yeah, dude, Yankees looking good, bro. The, 
the, I mean, their their one through five lineup is just fucking disgusting, dude. I was in Toronto. His body destroyed each time only to rise again. Who pitched today for the Yankees? He's not the last we have seen of Oh, Cortez. Nestor Cortez. Okay. Okay, everything just dies. Everything just dies. Yeah, th uh, yeah. I mean, I don't think this event's starting anytime soon. If it's going off the roadmap, then it should launch with ten two seven, and obviously ten two seven will not launch right after season four, which is still considered ten two six. So, if I like I said, if I had to guess, I'd say mid June. Probably after Kata. If they do it before, then so be it. I mean, I think that'd be pretty cool. Stand in the green circles, please, says the hunter. What a sweat lord, dude. What a sweat lord. Stand there, please. Okay, I'll stand in there just for you, bro. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Lol. Lol. LOL, bro. I thought I was doing good at 4 million. This fucker busts out 45. You know? I thought I was doing real good there for a second. Apparently fucking not. Searing light. Which one's searing light? That's the combo I use. Let me see. Oh, I might do one more. Just, I, 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 gotta, I gotta try that shit out. Hold on. Which one's searing light? I should have that, right? We can give that the old college go. What should I replace though? Uh, I could probably replace Mark of Arrogance, honestly. Is Arrogance even doing anything for me? Hell no. All right. So I guess, well, so, so what's the play then? I guess what you stand in the green circles and you just fucking overheal yourself with, with the uh, salvation, the, the hand of whatever, and just, that's it. It's life storm plus that and warmth, I believe. Well, I want to see how it interacts with, with, with my, the one that I currently have. Must be overhealing the pet or something. Oh, the pet. True, true, true. Forgot about that. Dude, Jackson Holiday doesn't have a hit yet, bro. What's up with that? Come on, Jackson Holiday. All those cards selling for like eight times as much as they're normally worth. Gotta do something with that shit, bro.
trying to find that fucking home run that that grand slam that Stanton hit the other day. That shit sounds so beautiful. Uh, excuse me. Let me see. Oh yeah, this is the one, bro. This is this was the most beautiful sound you can ever hear in baseball for any baseball fans out there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's gotta just gotta hear it. He's gotta hear it. He's gotta hear it. Oh, I nutted. I nutted. I nutted. It's like an ass clap, bro. For real, it's like an ass clap, dude. I mean, Stan's always had that power. He's always had that power, dude. He's always had it. This is a contract year for Stanton. I mean, he's doing pretty good. I mean, he's starting this year better than he did last year. I mean, he's still batting fucking 224, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like he could he could probably hit like 40 home runs and bat 198 like fucking old school Chris Davis. You know? Like who knows? Yeah, Kyle Schwarber had, what, like 40 homers last year, but batted like 178. Sometimes you just need players like that, like a Joey Gallo on your team. You know, some guy that, you know, just pads the meters on runs or gives you a home run when you need it. Come on, one more healer. Queue up. I want to test out this fucking Guambo combo. I do feel like you would need warmth for this, wouldn't you? I feel like you would need warmth to make this work. Because that, that's because uh, I don't really have anything that's healing other people. What what's Quick Strike doing for me? Where's Quick Strike at? Yeah. That's what we have. I don't even know why I have a quick strike. Let's replace that one. For the uh nice little warmth ability. Second run, monk is already almost 35, just doing intro quests and LFR. Yeah, you're gonna level Oh, Terrace. We're on Terrace. Okay. Yeah, we could try Life Storm. Let's see. We'll, we'll we'll see where we're at once we try it out. Yeah, I feel like no one's actually healing anything, bro, in these dungeons. Like, everyone's going in here as DPS, you know, and just, like, fucking popping off. Dude, I think a couple of raids ago, someone actually said, yo, can someone reset the boss? <laughs> Everyone's 
Everyone just fucking laughed at the poor bastard. So I was like, yo, can you reset the boss? Everyone was like, what? Oh, did we bug this shit out? Oh, no, we're good. I don't feel like I'm doing anything really crazy, though. I was popping myself on heels, too. Do more damage than I did before, though. Here we go. Or or Orc Man's just popping off right now. Both shamans. Chain lightning. Storm overload. Chain lightning. Blood DK heals with blood fuck let's see. Blood plague dot 48.9% of his of healing. Just had the first boss of Terrace give loot as if all three bosses were different fights. What? Uh. Oh shit, you're right. Oh. Oh. That's why I we're getting it in the mail, bro. That's why we're getting it in the mail. Because we're not looting each one of these guys. These guys are counting as individual bosses, bro. Good call. No, but see, it went to my mailbox, though. That second one went to my mailbox. I think you have to loot them really fast. Dude, what is up with the fucking HP right now? So, I mean, if you tell people not to cleave, I guess that would work, right? You say, hey, don't cleave too hard after the first boss or something. I don't know. Because I felt like the second boss died so fast that it fucked up me looting the second dude. Dude, the lag is terrible. That's one thing that I hate right now is that there's so much fucking lag. Oh my god. Well, these bosses fucking chunk on the first couple of hits, bro. Holy shit. Okay, that will be gear for a while. You're gonna get fucking blasted. Yeah, dude, I'm getting for sure blasted. I 
like I said, I, I expect bronze rewards to be fixed pretty much. Or, I mean, not fixed. I mean, they're just going to, you know, adjust it so that you get you get more. Just like they made plunder storm adjustments, right? To give you all more plunder so you don't have to be here all fucking day doing this shit. They'll do the same thing, man. For this. They might not do it to start. They might wait like a week before they do it. But I I'd say from 10 to 70 plus doing LFR and dungeons, you get enough. You, you'll end up with like 35 plus thousand, which is, I mean, that alone can get you one of these rare mounts, but it'll get you a shit ton of the other stuff. Like, I, I bought nine mounts with 20,000. So that's pretty awesome. The fuck? Where did this fucker come from? Okay, what's happening right now? Wait, is this the he Oh, this is the healing phase. Oh shit, bro. I was like, wait a minute. Yo, a lot of us ran to the chest area like we thought it was over. Dude, what do you even do in this phase? I don't even, I don't even know what you fucking do. People saying heal the boss. I'm like, I'm trying, bro. I don't think it's working. Doesn't he get a debuff if the ads get to him and shit, though? Oh, dear. Uh, um, I moon. Oh, okay. I have been free. My bra moon. Yeah, I think you have to level alts though to make your get your cloak item uh, experience up. Unless I start getting more after seventy. This is unfortunately not coming out for a while. Just, just whenever they announce 10 to 7, we'll have this. For instance, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're going to be in Kata Classic before we're in this right here. I said, it depends on Blizzard, really. 
Honestly, bro, they just got so much shit going on right now. You don't even know when they're releasing stuff. The roadmap is there. It's it's gonna it's telling you that it's after Kata, but at the same time, they might push it. They might release it if they think that it's ready to go. I'm I'm more under the impression that Blizzard just wants to keep moving everybody through each of the wows slowly but surely. I mean, it would be the smart thing to do. They kind of seem over their heads. Not really. They're releasing everything just fine without any problems. I haven't seen them be in over their heads. They're, I think they're perfectly fine. They got all the teams running on all cylinders, bro. Holy fuck. Until they fail on any part of the roadmap, they are not in over their heads. And so far, they have not failed the roadmap since the roadmap came out for Dragonflight. Everything has been pretty spot on, accurate. What ticket does he found best? I really don't know. Prop, uh oh. Prop pallies don't seem to have, um, like anything that scales like you know some other fucking classes do. Like a DK with all these abilities seems kind of fucking worked up. Yeah, I'm about to say, bro, we're the ones that are in over our heads, man. We don't even know what the fuck we can play at this point. <laughs> 69, boys. And that's, the, and that's the level I'm staying at. Fuck it. 69 it is. Shadowlands remix when though, yeah, you all joke about that shit, but it ain't gonna be funny when one day Shadowlands classic and remix makes it into the game, and then we're all playing that shit as if it's like the, as if it's like the best thing on earth. Oh, you mean uh, Golden Path? Golden Path wouldn't be too bad actually. That one might actually be some pretty goaded shit. I, I mean, I don't think it'll matter much, but I mean, it'll probably do a good amount of more damage. Well, technically, you need Golden Path plus the other one, right? The one after it. I think you need, like, both of them. Dude, I, I would not mind at all if we got fucking BFA remix with corruption abilities. Um, imagine fucking the what, what was it called? The the tank ability one. With like all these. Oh, OK. Dev Twilight. Yeah, Twilight Devastation, bro. Woo wee. Bro, these bosses are smacking me. People are saying stand behind the tanks or heal them too, man. You know, that's also a fucking option. Did someone use the power? Well, if someone would have used the power, two people would have been dead, not just one, I think. I think this is such a this is like a, a such a streamlined fun way of playing the game because you don't have to worry about like item levels of gear and shit, right? Like the only gear you get are from the chests from every quest that you do, and that's it. 
It's like pretty straightforward. It's just abilities, gems, and green gear. And that's it. I mean, but obviously these kind of systems can never be added to the base game that because then, you know, like we play a seasonal version of WoW. You, know, you also can't trivialize mythic content and shit like that with stuff like this. But like I said, it's it's fun that they're doing something like this. And that's what makes it cool. But anyway, Lou's about to get home. I got to get going. We didn't hit 70, unfortunately. I'll probably hit it later today. But, um, yeah, so I'm gone tomorrow, and I'm gone on Tuesday. I'll be back on Wednesday. I'll miss you guys. Um, you know? Yeah, if you uh, need to talk to me about something, I'm on Discord and shit. So um, I'll make sure that's in my title that I'm not here on uh, tomorrow and Tuesday. But, um, yeah, so enjoy your next uh, 72 hours of, of non-Towly and uh, probably non-anyone streaming under the WoW category except for classic players for the next couple of days, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Peace out. Vacation time.